if you're a depiction of maybe a brother like yourself. You see that? And that's how Jesus Christ looked. And he's what they would call an Afro-Asiatic. But more specifically, his nation was the Israelites. And that's what this whole Bible is about. Give me Deuteronomy 7 to 6, right? So what I'm here to tell you about is the Bible is about you like the Bible. It just hit you. It just hit you. The Bible's about you. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. But wait. Let me show you some more, though. Don't go yet. I got a little bit more to show you. Right. Right? Read that. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. We are holy people, right? Means separate people. Unto God, read. The Lord thy God have chosen me, have chosen us, read, to be a special people unto himself above all people. Say above. Not equal to. We've been in this country fighting for what all these years? Equality. But God said we're better. If I turn the TV on, if I turn on the NBA right now, they had to make sure they created the NBA bubble, right? Just so they could play the damn basketball, right? Who's on the damn basketball court? Jumping out of the gym? Is that everybody? Is that an equal? No. See what I'm saying? On the base. Hey, listen. Who, who just got the biggest sports contract in history? Patrick Mahomes. $500 million they gave him, right? When, when the white boy they gave $500 million to, to play a sport? It's never happened. Right. It's just a small glimpse of how much greater we are. When you get in your car and you drive in the rain, you couldn't do that if it wasn't for a black man who invented the windshield. Bring it up. When you get in your car and you stop at a stoplight, you couldn't do that if a so-called black man ain't invented the stoplight. Right? When you go in your house and you turn on your LCD TV, understand you couldn't do that if it wasn't for the contribution of so-called Mexican because that brother invented the color TV. We are the greatest people on earth. I'm gonna show you something else in the Bible that even proves further it's about us. Read that. Acts 13 and 1. Uh -huh. Now there were in the church that was at Antioch certain prophets and teachers, teachers as Barnabas and Simeon, that was called nigger. That was called what? That was called nigger. Wait a hold up. Why is called what? That was called nigger. That was called a nigger. We was, right? In the Bible, they was already calling us niggers 2,000 years ago. They didn't knew that the white man made up in America. They was calling us that 2,000 years ago. That's how we know the books. I'm going to show you one more. Deuteronomy 28, 54. Let me show you one more. I, right, evil. Give me that. Go ahead. Deuteronomy 28, 54. Uh -huh. So that the man that is tender among you. said the man, your fellow brother, is supposed to be tender to you. Read. And very delicate. And delicate, meaning you're supposed to value his life. Right? Read. His eye shall be evil towards his brother. His eye shall be evil towards his brother, man. I seen a video in Detroit two weeks ago. You know what I'm talking about. In the Coney Island. What that man do? He killed all them niggas in there. You know why? Because our eyes are evil towards each other. And we do negative things to each other all the time. Meanwhile, you know what the white man can do? He can live in freedom and happiness and peace all he wants after he's raped, robbed, and murdered you for 500 years. But towards our brother, read it again. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, uh -huh. his eyes shall be evil towards his brother. Now our eyes evil towards one another. This is how I know this book is about us. What other group of people live like this where they just hate each other all the damn time? For no, you just wake up, man, like this nigga, man. You see what I'm saying? Why? This all goes back to something. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 1. This is how we fix all. Matter of fact, read 15. Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. God said if we didn't listen to him, read. To observe, to do all his commandments. do all the things that he gave, all the instructions that he gave us. If we didn't follow his instructions, read. And his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon. So our hatred towards one another, black on black crime and things of that nature, is a part of the curses that was put upon us for disobeying the laws of God. Bring it up. Give me Leviticus 19 and 16. That's what it all goes back to. So how we fix this is coming back to the instructions that God gave us, right? If you don't follow it, if you try to build something without following instructions, what happens? It don't work. It's out of order. Right. So how we put ourselves back in order is through following the instructions given to us by God. Read that. Leviticus 19 and 16. I'm going to read some of the instructions that God gave us. I'm going to read three of them to you. And I want you, to, I want you to ask yourself as I'm reading them if, this, if you think following these rules would help our community. Read. Thou shalt not go up and down as a talebearer among thy people. They say, thou shalt not go up and down as a talebearer. You know what that means? Going around spreading gossip and rumors. Right. Do you think if nobody spread gossip and rumors amongst our community, that that would stop a lot of problems amongst our people? All this he said, she said stuff? That would solve a lot of, that would stop a lot of stuff from happening, right? Keep reading. Neither shalt thou stand against the blood of thy neighbor. They say, neither shalt thou stand against the blood of thy neighbor. You know what that means? When George Floyd had that white boy knee on his neck, and them niggas just stood there and was talking to them police, they sinned against God. 
God said, if you see your brother, your neighbor getting killed, you got to do something about that. You don't just stand there and talk about it. You got to do something about that. See that? That'll help us out right there. Read on. Yeah, because th cause think about it. What do, what do our people usually do? Oh, man, that, that, that's not my business. That ain't got nothing to do with me, right? That's what they say. It's not my business. They got nothing to do with me. It do, because that's your brother, right? Read. Huh, I got some Yo, keep going. Uh -huh. huh. It says Leviticus 19 and 17. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not hate your brother. Now, just the last one for you. Thou shalt not hate thy brother. This is what we need, because niggas wake up every day hating the hell out of each other. Thou shalt not hate your brother. Read. Right. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. Say you shall what? Rebuke thy neighbor. So not only is it telling us not to hate, but it's telling us how we don't hate. It said, thou shalt rebuke thy neighbor. If I see you in the damn alley somewhere smoking crack, brother, I'm supposed to say something to you about it. Right. What the hell are you doing, brother? Get that damn pipe out. You see what I'm saying? That's the type of love. When you see your brother doing something wrong, you're supposed to get right on him and check him immediately about it. That's and that's right. what the Bible tells us love is. Immediately checking each other. Read. Come on. Let me get, uh, Keep going. Come on. It says, and not suffer sin upon him. You said what, brother? I'm going to tell you, all this stuff I just read to you shows you the Bible's real because we live in it every day. I, 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 I can't tell you. I, I, listen, here's the thing, though. I, I, just, I, just read, I just read to you the truth, though. You, brother, you the proof that the Bible's real. Because everything, is everything I read, just read to you, describe your people and what they're going through right now? It can. And you know when the Bible was done being written? 2,000 years ago. So how the hell did it know there was going to be niggas in Detroit that was going to fit this description in 2,000 years? Come on, brother. You fighting against, give me Act 7, man. You ain't doing nothing but fighting against the spirit right now, man. You live, you live in proof. I'm just you, I'm but, but, but here's the problem though. I, I, I no no I'm not saying you fight against my spirit, I say you fight against the spirit, the Holy Spirit. Because they clearly just bear witness to you all of these things. You bear witness to these things, to the authenticity of the Bible. Because we can read it and see us living it in real time, but we know it was written a long time ago. Right? So if anything could predict something that far in advance, it's gotta be divinely inspired by God. Because ain't nobody been that accurate, right? Go ahead, so go ahead, read that. Isaiah 43 and 10. Uh -huh. Ye are my witnesses. We are the witnesses. Read. Ye are my witnesses, said the Lord. We are. We're living proof of God. We're living proof that this Bible is real. That's right. right. Read. And my servant whom I have chosen, uh -huh. that ye may know and believe me. It's all about knowing and believing God, right? Knowing him and knowing what's right and wrong according to him. Now, if I say our people have no business spreading rumors and gossip and lies amongst each other, that's a good thing, right, if we would stop doing that. Ain't nothing wrong with that, right? See, so it's not telling us to do nothing crazy or stupid. It's telling us to do good things. Yeah. Hey, I just said, I don't, I don't trust well, Who wrote it? Many men wrote it. It's 80 hey, books. Hey, hey, you just made my whole point. Many men wrote it. You heard what you said? Many men. Yeah. But 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 it's hold on, hold on. Do you, hold on. Do you know? Do you, you're not no. You're you're going off the spirit of God. Listen, but but you, but but if you read, if you I understand, but you, that's why you got to read the sources, because it's something called source documents, right? The Bible was translated from source documents, right? So if you ever have a discrepancy with a translation, you just check the source document. You check the Hebrew writings. You check the Greek right, and this is how you clear up any discrepancies and you can see the consistency of it. You see what I'm saying? Through checking them sources. Because if it was something that was made up, the sources all over the place wouldn't match up the way that they do. It would say something totally different than the other one. You see what I'm saying? But instead we see a consistency amongst that, right? Now somebody can translate or somebody can interpret something however they want to interpret. I'm with you there. But the source say what it say. You understand what I'm saying? And the source is clearly matching up with the fact that we are living proof that we are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. That's right. See? That's why I mean, what's up, my brother? Oh, you just said shalom. Shalom, brother. Right? So all praise and most up. But you got you got you got a flyer, right? Yeah, I got Listen, man, when you when, when you go to the crib, when you get some time, man, check the videos out, man. Just give us a chance, man. You see what I'm saying? I'm with you. What's your name, brother? My name is Mark. Mark, meeting you, Alazar. Pleasure meeting you, my brother. All praise to the most high, man. All oh, praise to the most high. You so-called Negroes and Latinos, it's high time that y'all wake up right now, man. 
Because this whole earth is coming crashing down before our eyes, and we're just having a good old time, man. When you go up in the store and they tell you you better have your debit card or exact change, you need to understand that something major is getting ready to happen to this earth. Something major is happening. This devil is getting ready to bring in the mark of the beast, man. Bring it out. That's what's coming. You've heard about it for all these years about the mark of the beast. He's clearly showing you he's bringing that in right now, man. He's clearly showing it. Go ahead. Give me back in the mark of the beast, man. Let's keep reading on that. Any questions on the floor? I see I got listeners. Y'all got a question? Put your hand up. We deal with your question if we have the ability. So read. Revelation chapter 13, verse, uh, I'm going to go to verse 13. Uh -huh. And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth. He said he doeth great wonders, he maketh fire. This beast that we just read about, he maketh fire come down from heaven. How did this beast of America make fire come down from heaven? You ever heard of Hiroshima and Nagasaki? He made fire come down from heaven in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, brother. That's how, read. It says... And he doeth great wonders, so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth, in the sight of men, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles. So through that great military might that America was able to show, he was able to influence this whole earth into thinking he was something better and greater than he is. He deceived Read that again. Come, this is the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 14. And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do. After the after the, uh, the American white man dropped Hiroshima and Nagasaki, the whole earth bowed down to America. That's right. Nobody had ever seen anything like that. And through that mechanism, America was able to deceive the whole earth. Read. Jeremiah 49 and 16. Thy terribleness hath deceived thee. Thy what? Thy terribleness. How terrible he was. How mighty he was in military strength. What he was able to do, it deceived him very, his own self. He started thinking of himself as something greater than he actually is. Right? right? Read. Back to Revelation. Revelation 13 and 14. And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do on the side of the beast. Read on. Saying to them that dwell on the earth, that they should make an image to the beast. They should what? Make an image to the beast. Read on. Uh, which had the wound by a sword and did live. So he made an image, and the image starts with this dude right here. This is the start of something that you call white supremacy, man. Y'all hear that buzzword now? They all using it, throwing that term around, white supremacy. Where does white supremacy start? It starts with this picture right here, man. It starts with this image right here when they painted this image. When Leonardo da Vinci, a champion artist, right? He's champion, right? Why is he champion? Because he drew pictures like this. And he made us to think this was Jesus Christ. When the Bible gives a contrary description, I see you looking. Benaki, Benaki, you don't to Benaki, come on. Don't run. Look at her running, man. You think this is Jesus? Jesus is negro, no blanco. Okay? El hombre right. blanco es el diablo en la Biblia. Right. All right? They painted this picture. And this is how white supremacy started in 1492. White supremacy started with the painting of this image. Let's get the, give me, give me all a wisdom of Solomon, man. Give me wisdom of Solomon 14. Because the prophet Solomon prophesied about this coming and this happening. He prophesied about white supremacy and where it would come from, right? And this is enslaved, starting with this picture, but it's not limited to this picture. But it starts with him painting himself as the son of God. But guess what? It, it goes far past that, right? White supremacy goes so much deeper than that, but it all started with this. All started with a blind hair, blue eyed Jesus, man. That's right. right? Who got what I need? Read that. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 14, verse 15. For a father afflicted with untimely mourning. He say a father. Who is his father, the Pope? Pope Rodrigo Bonjour, the sixth of Rome. I'm not lying. What's going on, hermano? Come on, come listen real quick. Un momento, un momento. Come on, man. You think this is Jesus? Is this Jesus? It's name ain't Jesus, right? Take some of that literature, bro, model. Right? Read it from the top. For a father afflicted with untimely mourning, uh -huh. when he had made an image of his so like you, go ahead. When he had made an image of his child. See he made an image of his child. The Pope had his son sit and pose to be Jesus Christ. This is the son of the Pope. This is not Jesus Christ. That's right. We uh, of his child soon taken away. Uh -huh. Now honored him as a god. Now what? Now honored him as a god. Now everyone think it's Jesus. They honored him as a god, read on, which was then a dead man uh -huh. and delivered to those that were under him ceremonies and sacrifices. And they created a whole religion around this picture. What is that religion called? It's called the Roman Catholic Church. 
That's what that religion is called. I know I used to be in there. And when you walk in that room and you see this picture, you got to put bend your knee down to this picture. And you got to do this, do a damn sign of a T, spectacles, testicles, wild and watch for this devil, right? They created what they created worship to this devil. Read. Thus, in the process of time, an ungodly custom grown strong was kept as a law. What was kept as a law? Then they made it a law. When did they make it a law? How about when they came over here to America and they told the Aztec? They told the Taino, they told the Mayan, all the indigenous peoples of the Americas. They said, you got to bow to this or die. That's how they made it a law. Read on. And graven images were worshipped by the commandments of king. And they forced it as kings, as people in power. They said, we Spain and we're going to make all the world bow down to a white Jesus and a white Mary and all the white saints, etc. Right? That's all in the Bible. Now, mind you, this is Solomon. This is a 27, 2800 year old prophecy of what we lived in under white supremacy in America, right here in the Bible. Right? Read on. Who men could not honor in presence. They couldn't honor him in presence. Why? Because they dwelt far off. Because this damn devil lived in Spain. But they took a picture of him to America and made everyone bow to it. They took a picture of him to Africa and they made everyone bow to it. Right? Read on. They took the counterfeit of his visions from far and made an express image of a king whom they honored to the end that they, by this, their forwardness, they might flatter him that was absent. Uh, they want to flatter him that was absent. It was all about flattering his father, who was the Pope, who had his son posed to be Jesus Christ. The one that Negroes walk around with a damn fake iced out version of on their neck looking simple as hell. That's right. Read. As if he were present. Uh -huh. As if what? As if he were present. So they honored him like he was there by bowing down to his picture. And that's how you have sweet Jesus in your churches today. That's how. That's the beginning of white supremacy or the image of the beast that the Bible talks about. When you look that word image up, it's the Greek word icon. Right. Icon means your golden standard. So he, he put this image and standardized himself as the golden standard in the earth. What does that mean? The lighter you were, the, the bluer your eyes, the blonder your hair, the better you were. That's what white supremacy is. That's what the image of the beast is. He made everybody to be indoctrinated with this image. Now in every country you go to around the world, you got people bleaching their skin, man. You got people bleaching their hair. You got people going against nature to be recessive when they're dominant. That can only happen by the work of Satan, man. And Satan created the image of the beast and made all of us to worship it. But let me tell you something. This image of the beast, which is white supremacy, the Bible calls it the image of the beast. The most high God is destroying it right now. I'm going to tell you how he's killing it. Who's heard of black fishing? Can I get a hand up in the crowd if anybody's heard of black fishing in the crowd? Y'all heard of black fishing? You know what black fishing is? That's when white girls go on Instagram and they try to make themselves look as dark as they can. You know why? Oh, yeah. Because when Instagram came out, it exposed white supremacy. Because everybody wants to follow all the black girls on Instagram and don't nobody want to follow the white girls. So it's showing you because on TV, the white man can put whoever they want on TV, right? They can put the blind damn or Reese Witherspoon as the, the uh, imp incarnation of beauty, right? And if you, all you got is a TV to watch, they can force that on you. But as soon as now we have something like the internet and we can just look at whatever we want to, they start, to, they start getting exposed. Everyone looking at the black and Latina woman. Ain't nobody looking at the white woman no more. And there's a reason for that. This whole place is coming down, man. This whole place is falling before your eyes, man. But if you don't want to fall with it, you got to repent, man. Right? Give me that come out or be not partake of her sins. Read that. Okay, this is Revelation chapter 18, verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people. That's right. That's deliverance. When that deliverance comes to deliver us, you got to be found worthy of that. Give me the ten virgins. Read. Okay. Uh, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, uh -huh. Come out of her, my people. You say what? Come out of her, my people, that you be not partakers of her sin. See, because this place is getting ready to get judged for all its evil, for all its sorcery, for all its abomination, for what it did, for all of its crime that it committed against us. For all the black, Hispanic, and Native Indian blood that's been shed here, this place is getting ready to get judged. But if you don't repent, you're going to get judged right with it. You gotta repent and come back to these laws, Ten Commandments, so-called black and Hispanic, right? Read that. And he, it says, and that you receive not of her plague. And you what? Receive not of her plague. This place is getting ready to get plagued with thermonuclear 
fire in a thermal nuclear holocaust. And if you don't want to receive those plagues, you got one simple solution. You come back to these laws and commandments in faith. That's all. That's the only thing you can do, man. That is the only thing you give me Revelation 14 and 12. Let me show you how you're going to get delivered out of this place, man. All right? You ain't going to get delivered through a political party. You're not going to get delivered bearing arms. All these niggas got guns, man, and ain't saved you yet. What? You think a gun's going to save you, man? Let me tell you something. An unfortunate thing happened this week, man, to a young brother who I was a huge fan of, a, a rapper by the name of FBG Duck in Chicago, right? They jumped out on him. They started dumping him out. And guess what? He had a gun with 50 shots in it. You know what happened to that gun after he shot it one time? It jammed. So you have faith in that gun all you want, nigga. And when it jammed, then what you gonna do? And the white man got a goddamn nuclear bomb he could drop on your hood tomorrow. And you talking about your little 50 shot. Please. Right? So that ain't what's gonna save you. I'm gonna tell you what's gonna save you. Read. Revelation 14 and 12. Here's the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of, you, of Jesus. Commandments of God and faith in his son, who they call Jesus. But I'm gonna tell you something. Like that white man was over there preaching Jesus. I'm gonna tell you something. The letter J ain't exist when the man walked the earth. When the man got crucified, there was no such thing as the letter J. When there was an inscription on that cross, there was no letter J on that cross. That's right. So his name ain't Jesus, man. That's right. His name in the ancient Paleo Hebrew is Yahweh Shai. That's right. Yahweh Shai. And that is who, that is the so called black Messiah that's coming to save his people right. from their enemies, man. Right. Give me that. Give me Luke 1. And what he's coming to do. Because a lot of people have the, the, the actual message and the mission of who you call Jesus Christ. Twist it, man. You got you got your house shot chop, man. You don't know what he's coming here to do. Everybody think like this devil over here talking about. He think he'll just come down on a cloud and hug everybody. That's not what he's coming to do. Read. Luke 1 and 68. I got some numbers. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. For he hath visited and redeemed his people. Who? His people. Read on. And hath raised up in horn of salvation for us uh -huh. in the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, uh -huh. which have been since the world began, that we should be saved. That what? That, that we should be saved from who? From our enemy. That what? That we should be saved from who? From our enemy. He's coming to save his people from their enemies. That's right. The enemies can't get saved along with his people. Right. All right. Who's his enemies? That's what I gotta ask, sister. Let me ask you a question. I see you listening. Who do you think the enemies of black people is? You don't know? Who's done all the atrocities to black people for the last 500 years? Hmm? What, are, what, are, what are these people? See what I'm saying? Slavery, lynching, police killing, right? So who you call Christ is coming to save us up out of that from those people. You see what I'm saying? So if he gonna come save us from these people, how are these people gonna get saved too? They can't get saved too. Cause we're the ones that we, they the ones that we need to get saved from. Read that. Right. Psalm 72 and 4. Uh -huh. He shall judge the poor of the people. He shall what? Judge the poor of the people. He shall save the children of the needy. He shall what? Save the children of the needy. Who are the most needy people in this country? Who are the poor people in this country? That's our people, right? Read. And shall break in pieces the oppressor. And what? And shall break in pieces the oppressor. Right. So if the group of people that's oppressing us gonna get break in pieces. Where is their salvation at in this? Right. There's no salvation for them in this. Salvation is for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Salvation has always been for you. It's always been all, the world is all about you. You make this world turn, so to speak, man. The, everything is about so-called blacks and Hispanics, man. Because we are God's chosen people. We are the greatest people on the face of this planet, man. That's us, according to the Bible. And what the Most High requires of us is to follow the instructions that he gave us going back to the time of Moses. Read that. Psalm 14 and 7. Oh, that the salvation of Israel. Oh, that who? The salvation of Israel. Who is Israel? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians. Yes, read right. the 12 tribes of Israel. Oh, that the salvation of Israel. Read on. We'll come out of Zion. Oh, what? We'll come out of Zion. Read on. When the Lord bringeth back the captivity of his people. When he what? Bring back the captivity of his people. That means when he saves his people out of slavery, that is salvation. That is literally the definition of salvation. Whatever they told you in the church, they don't got a Bible verse on. They talking about we're gonna save you from eternal hell fire and you're gonna live a miserable life. But see, in the afterlife, you're gonna be in heaven with Jesus. That's a damn lie. That's a lie. What salvation is, is he said when he bringeth back the captivity of his people, that means the captivity is slavery. That's another word for slavery. When he brings you out of slavery, that is salvation. That's what we're waiting for. Read. 
when the Lord bringeth back the captivity of his people, uh -huh. Jacob shall rejoice. Uh -huh. Say what? Jacob shall rejoice. We're going to be a happy group of people when God saves us from the hand of our That's enemies. Right. That's right. Read. Come. This is Matthew 1 and 21. Uh -huh. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. Uh -huh. For he shall save his people from their sins. Right, because our sins is what got us here. Right? If we're here serving a punishment, right? Precept read. This is Luke chapter 12, verse 51. Uh -huh. Suppose ye that I come to see, give peace on earth. I say what? Suppose ye that I have come to give peace on earth. Christ is being very plain. Suppose ye that I come to send peace on earth. Because if you let the churches we grew up in tell it, he's coming to send peace. Give us peace. Like a good old, like a like a silent Christmas night, right? But what is, how shall I say, who you call Jesus say? I tell you nay. I tell you what? I nay. He said he tell you no. No peace, read. But rather division. But rather division. Remember, he said, we, "What are we chanting out there in the streets? No justice, no peace. Right. We ain't got no justice, have we? So that means there's not gonna be no peace. Right. It's not gonna be none when who you call Christ come back. We chanted it long enough. We still ain't got no justice. So when Christ come back, there will be no peace. Read. What you what you had? Precept. Oh, sorry, go ahead. In the meantime, Isaiah 48 and 22. There is no peace, saith the Lord. What? There is no peace, saith the Lord. Read. Unto the wicked. Unto who? Unto the wicked. And these wicked people who have fed babies to alligators. These people have fed little babies to alligators, man. Right. This, that's wicked as hell. These, these people who have cut babies out of their mother's wombs now. Right? Who knows about Squaw Valley that they got in California? Squaw Valley was a place where they would specifically rape Native American women and throw them off a damn cliff. For fun. That's fun to them. <laughs> if, a, if, a, if there's a group of people that find that fun to intimately lay with somebody and then proceed to murder them right after, you are a sick freak. You are nothing short of wicked and vile. That's right. And there's no peace to you, thus saith the Lord. Not an ounce of peace to somebody who would do a thing like that force themselves into somebody and kill them. Why don't you just kill her in the first place? Why don't you have to rape her first? See what I'm saying? Right? He's just inhumane. So there's no peace. Read that again. Yeah, hit that one more time. This is Isaiah chapter 48, verse 22. There is no peace, said the Lord, unto the wicked. There is no peace unto the wicked. Read on. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 63, verse uh, 4. For the time has come for me to avenge my people. The time has come for what? For me to avenge my people. The Bible speak about vengeance, man. God is coming and sending his son rather. He ain't moving off that throne. He, he sends orders. The Most High is sending an order to his only begotten son who you call Christ to avenge his people. That's right. God is about vengeance. You know what happens every time you get mad about something? Here come a good old Christian. Vengeance is the Lord's. You're right. So when the time comes, there will be vengeance. Right, right. And that vengeance is going to happen to our oppressor. That's right. It's vengeance on our behalf. It's vengeance of 500 years of hell, of rape, robbery, and murder. That's and vengeance right. of crimes even past that. Right. What about 70 AD? What about crucifying? What about the actual Romans that nailed the hands of our Lord into a cross? What about the actual Romans that stuck a spear to the side of our Lord on that cross? What about Pilate, who whipped our Lord? How many of y'all know that Pilate took a whip and whipped Jesus Christ for no apparent reason? Just because he wanted to do it because he's the devil. That's right. That's right. They gonna get paid back and vengeance for that. That's right. That's right. Three. Isaiah 63 is a few verses in this. It says, for the time has come for me to avenge my people. That's what time is coming. The vengeance of blacks and Latinos. That's what time is coming. Read on. And to ransom them from their oppressors. And to what? To ransom them from their oppressors. To ransom us from our oppressors. Who knows what our ransom was paid with? What was our ransom paid with? You said what? The blood of Jesus. People talk about the blood of Jesus. God said the blood of Jesus was paid to get his people out of slavery. The blood of Jesus was not paid so people could not go to some mythical Greek place called hell. Brother, you believe in hell? My brother right here in the super dry shirt. My brother right King right here. You believe in hell, brother? Hell is on. Give me an air pan, brother. COVID pan.
<laughs> Listen, man, Detroit look a lot like hell. <laughs> I don't need to die to see it, brother. I've seen it riding in Detroit. See what I'm saying? So we don't live this hell out. Guess what? We're going to get redeemed from this hell. Read. It says, I looked, but no one came to help my people. Say what? I looked, but no one came to help my people. I looked, and no one came to give a damn about us, man. Bring it out. Who's ever came and helped us or gave a damn about us, man? Detroit have been in ruins for how many decades? No, who's care? And, and Flint. No, forget about Flint. How does that, how does anybody even live? When I hear when I talk to brothers that live in Flint, I go, well, you still live there? Sell your house, leave, brother. <laughs> Feel me? Go, go away, brother. You gotta get out of there. <laughs> See what I'm saying? But no one gives a damn about our people. Read on. It says, I looked, but no one came to help my people. I was amazed and appalled at what I saw. What? Amazed and appalled at what I saw. God looks at how no one has ever given a damn about us and he's appalled at it. And he's amazed that people are this inhumane to where nobody has ever given a damn about blacks and Latinos. That's right. Nobody. The Native American is sitting on that reservation trying to kill himself every day because how miserable he is, knowing that the white man has stolen all his land, right? In total misery, right? And no one cares. God is appalled, read. So I executed vengeance alone. So God is gonna execute the vengeance. Vengeance is his, and he's gonna execute vengeance. Here's the problem. Here's how stupid y'all. Y'all go, vengeance is mine. So you know, that, yeah, that that's the Lord. Okay, well you're right. So don't have our vengeance, because we might do how we did the Canaanites and leave some of y'all alive when we weren't supposed to. We might leave some of these. Hey, he all right. He's cool. He can sing, nigga. He got his black big car. That's how stupid our people are, right? Right. So we done left some of them. So the Most High, give me Obadiah too while you at it. So the Most High said, listen, I'm going to avenge against these people. Don't worry, wait. So I executed vengeance alone, unaided. I unaided with no help. I passed down judgment. I crushed the nations in my anger and made them stagger and fall to the ground. That's right, and that's what's coming. The fall of these nations, that's what I was going into. Every story you go into, you should understand that America's falling when they have a sign about exact change. You should know America's falling. A change shortage, how? How do you have a chain shortage? You have a damn chain shortage when you have a U.S. Mint and you can just print money at your leisure. When Chrysler and Chevy need to get bailed out, you print it up money and send it to their ass, right? So why you can't press up some more dimes and quarters and nickels? Right. Because you got an agenda. Because you're gonna force your financial. Why did you give all these niggas without businesses <laughs> SBA grants? <laughs> How do why? They're, they're trying to collapse this car. Niggas is just getting the money and taking pictures with it and spending it, not realizing this is all a part of the plan. We knew they were going to do this. All right? <laughs> Have no fear. We knew they were going to do this. And this is all a part of ushering in a financial collapse that will lead to a new monetary system that's based off of the implantation of radio frequency identification chips that they're putting in niggas, man. Go ahead. This is a... And, we bet, and, and none of y'all better not let them do it. Then they talking about a damn corona vaccine, man. Some of y'all niggas can't wait to get a corona vaccine, man. Y'all out of y'all damn mind. You know how long it takes to, to create a, a stable vaccine? 20 years. Right. Corona been out a year. How can we call that vaccine stable? That's right. You can't call it stable. But some of y'all silly asses is going to put it up in your arm and you're going to let your kids take it too. That's right. I'm going to tell you, you better not let your kids take that vaccine. That's right. Read. Go ahead. You got Obadiah, read that. Obadiah, chapter uh, 1, verse 15. Uh -huh. For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen, as thou hast done. I, 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 need, I need dual according to my anger. Oh. 18? No, that's 18. Yeah, 25. Still alive. Read that in the meantime. Okay. Um, this is the book of Zechariah, chapter 8, verse 2. Thus said the Lord of hosts, I was jealous for, for Zion uh -huh. with great jealousy, and I was jealous for her with great fury. Uh -huh. Isaiah 42 and 13. The Lord shall go forth as a mighty man. He shall stir up jealousy like a man of war. He shall cry, yea, roar. He shall prevail against his enemies. The Most High is mad as hell at our oppressors, and he counts them as his enemies. And he wants to do something to these people, man. He wants hell to come to these people. Right? Read that. Ezekiel 25 and 14. Uh -huh. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. Right? 
So he's going to lay his vengeance, but guess how he's going to take his vengeance? By the hand of the black and Hispanic man. By the hand of who he called the nigger and the spick. By the hand of who he's oppressed and lynched and raped, robbed, murdered, and enslaved. By the hand of us, read. It says, and I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. And they shall do in Edom according to mine anger. And we're going to do according to the Lord's anger. So if we're not mad enough, I'm going to tell you, if you, the fact that y'all are alive right now, that shows us that we're not mad enough as a people. Right. But the Most High said when he turned us loose, right, we're going to do according to his anger and his fury. Since vengeance is his, ain't it? Right? Why not? Or you just saying shalom? I'm saying go to a barrage. Oh, praise God. Precept, precept, go ahead. Jeremiah 51 and 20. Uh -huh. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. You so-called blacks in the Spain, you're going to be his battle axe and weapons of war. That's right. right? But you can't be his battle axe and weapons of war on drugs, man. Right. You can't be on his battle axe and weapons of war clogging your arteries, man. So we got to have to learn to come back to these laws and teach us the way to live. That's right? right. Read on. For with thee will I break in pieces the nation. With thee what? With thee will I break in pieces the nations, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms. Uh -huh. and, I, and with thee will I break in pieces the horse and his rider, uh -huh. and with thee will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider. So he's going to use us to conquer this whole earth, thus saith the Most High God. We're going to be used to conquer this whole earth. Read. It's the book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 18. It says, but the saints of the Most High shall take the king. Shall what? Shall take the king. Shall what? Shall take the king. See that? We're going to take the king. We're not going to wait for somebody to give it to us. We're not going to vote the kingdom in. We are going to take the kingdom that saith the Most High God. Read. And possess the kingdom. And what? And possess the kingdom. We are going to take it. Then we're going to possess it. Read. Forever. For what? Forever. For what? Forever. forever. Even. Even forever and ever. Forever, even, forever and ever. After we take hold of this rulership of this earth, we will have it. We will not lose it. It will be ours under who you call Christ and Mashiach, Yahweh Shah. That's what's coming, right? But you got to be fit to lead. You get ready to be the rulers of this earth again, right? You better be fit to lead it, man. And you ain't going to be fit to lead it if you don't follow the instructions of the Most High, which are the laws, the statutes, and the commandments, man. That's right. Right? Huh? We got to teach our people how to live again, man. Because this white man, he ain't told you how to. The only thing he can ever teach you how to do is die. That's it. Because the man is deaf himself. Right. Give me revelation. <laughs> the man is deaf, huh? I know that's right. Everywhere he goes, death comes. So what did he teach you how to do? To die. Say it again. <laughs> to die. Say it again. Let me tell you something, bro. You see how they tried to, uh, uh, when they was hang hanging their brothers in California, they tried to say it was suicide. Are you kidding me? We don't know nothing about hanging until you show us about hanging. Right. You see what I'm saying? Read that. Revelation 6 and 8. Uh -huh. And I looked and behold a pale horse. Uh -huh. And his name that sat on him was death. Uh, was, what? It was death. <laughs> and hell followed with him. What? Hell followed with Hell followed. Was that the grave? I mean, when he came, People die, were destroyed, all of that's what's cut. That's what when he comes, that's what happens, man. Uh -huh. Death. That's, that's it. Right. People die. Go look at go on Wikipedia, and the Wikipedia ain't always the most reliable source. But you go in there, you can check the sources. And just look up world war fatalities. Look up all these wars and how many people died in all of these wars. And who was the one doing the killing in all these damn wars? World War II, I think, had the highest body count of all time. Who was doing all the killing? Where was the damn con with the, uh, 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 Matato? Did the Congolese army do all the killing in World War II? <laughs> no. Where was World War II at? Mostly where? In Europe. Bombing the hell out of England. Bombing France. Bombing Germany. For no reason. For, just fighting. For no reason. Or just whatever. <laughs> you know, a lot of people say that whole thing was set up just, just for 1948. That's all it was about. No just so the Jews can go steal a land that people already lived in. Who, how many of y'all know about uh, what's his actor name, man? What's my man name from uh, 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 from from Superbad? Uh, uh, Seth Rogen, Amalek, Jewish man. He came out and just said last week, I used to believe stuff about Israel. He said, but people lived there before we ever went there. That's a white. Listen, you can call us in, Osama, whatever you want to call. He said it. He's a Jewish white man, and he said exactly what we're saying. And he don't have to apologize. They made him apologize? No, no of course he don't have to apologize because he's not a nigga. He don't got to apologize. But they won't tell you what color people live there, though. Exactly. They say somebody lived there, but they won't tell you what color people. Then you got a devil like Max Kellerman that's getting on the news and acting like it's asinine to think that the Negro was the Jew. 
But you can go ask any rabbi, ask a real rabbi. Just if you ever see a rabbi, just ask him. Start asking them questions about the original Jews. The average rabbi ain't even gonna deny it to you. He'll right. say, yes, uh, the original uh, Jews are uh, black people. You know, but we went into Europe and you know we mixed with the Europeans, so we turned all of a sudden we magically white. Right. All of us. But Gorilla, you have to bring up the point too. Not one country on the planet apart from America and England who said they are Jews. That's true. That's true. No other African country, no uh, other country. That. No other country on the planet Earth recognize them as being Jews. Just a, just, just, just a whore and her mother. Huh? That's it. Just That's a whore it. and her mother. And what you mentioned, death and hell. No. That's all. Only two countries recognize them. Exactly. And, and they're the main countries killing every damn body on Earth. You got something? Uh, Salaki, you have precept. Go ahead, officer. Ezekiel 35 and four, uh, 5. Uh -huh. Because thou has had a perpetual hatred and has shed it into the blood. And shed what? Shed the innocent blood. He shed innocent blood. He's had a never ending hatred for us and he shed your innocent blood. Right? That's why he has no hesitation to shed your innocent blood that saved the most high. Right? Read on. Uh, of the children of Israel by the force of the sword. By what? By the force of the sword. Murdering us by any instrument that he could get his hand on. He came out with something called the Gatling gun to kill, just for the so-called Native American Indian. He came out with a Gatling gun for the tribe of Gad to mow him down, right? That's killing us by the force of the sword, read on. In the time of their calamity. In what? In the time of their calamity. In the time that their iniquity had an end. But guess what our iniquity, our punishment is getting ready to come to an end, right? Read on. Therefore, as I live, saith uh -huh. Yahweh, I will prepare thee unto blood, uh -huh. And blood shall pursue thee, uh -huh. since thou hast not hated blood. Because the white man has not cared anything or spared any black or Hispanic or Native right. Indian for mass right. murdering us, for committing no, no, genocide no, against us, from no, total oppression no, no, no. of us. Okay? Yeah. Because he didn't care nothing about doing that to you, the Most High God is not going to care nothing about doing it to him. Right. He's not going to pity the De Karen's tears. Yeah. Right? When little Billy cries, he's not going to care. Who's gonna laugh because they laugh while you while, while your mother cried? That's right. They laugh while your child cried. They laugh while Philandro Castillo's daughter cried in the back seat when they shot his ass dead. Right. They laughed at that. That's a joke to them. They made t-shirts that say they can breathe when you say you can't breathe. Right. They laugh at you, man. All right. So with that, we're gonna give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. That's the Most High in the name of His Son. We're going to say, you so-called Negroes and Latinos, it's time you repent and come back to who you are, the Israelites of the Bible, right? We say, death to America. Death to America. I'm going to pass it off to the next speaker. So we say, give the brother a round of applause again, man. Give all praises and honor to the most high. Give me that scripture actually for us, Um So, um, as the brother was talking about death to America, right? So, we're going to say death to all white empire, man. Take it down. Take it up. <laughs> and the brother mentioned about death and hell. Right. We have to understand that the so called white man be ruling this earth for a long time, brothers and sisters. That's right. You understand me? So some of you find love and compassion for white people. You know why? Because they've been ruling for a long time, man. From they come out the Carcass Mountain, man. They, no, from they come out of Petra Mountain. Right, and then right, they go right, up right. into the Carcass Mountain. You understand me? They've been ruling this earth for a long time. So some of you find compassion on them. But you have to understand the God of the Bible don't see what you see, man. Right? Um, get me Proverbs 16, 42, my brother. Daniel chapter 2, verse 44. And in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a king. Hold it up, Shall the God of heaven it's like it. Daniel chapter 2, verse 44. And in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom. So what kind of kingdom God setting up? Is it the kind of kingdom that the so-called white men teach us? Just, just imagine earth no today. Just imagine the situation that we so-called black people live in. And you telling me a black God is coming to deliver us from that, man? A white God is coming to deliver us from that? You have Bill Gates running around wanting to vaccinate everybody. And you telling me the same God that looked like him coming to deliver us from him? Read my brother. 
Daniel 2 and 44. And in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed. And the kingdom shall not be left to other people. To what? To other people. To what? To other people. But it shall break in pieces. It shall be what? It shall break in pieces. Break in pieces what? For us to get any level of salvation, the white man have to go. Right. The white man just have to be exterminated. You see these little old white women, especially the black woman, love to have compassion on them. He have to be destroyed, man. There's, there's no way, like we used to grow up in Jamaica, they said two bulls cannot be in one pen. Because you cannot have good and evil in the same household, man. Because we is the what? The seed of the good. The white man is the evil entity on this earth. So you have to go. As girl I bring out what? Death and hell follow him. Only good thing the white man ever created is death, man. Killing other people. That's all he know. Right? Read it true for me, brother. Con, Daniel 2 and 44. And in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed. And the kingdom shall not be left to other people. But it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms. It shall do what? It shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms. Finish up. And it shall stand forever. So we're going to consume all of them, brothers and sisters. That's right. So that's what you're supposed to work for. You're supposed to be part of that. Aren't they consuming us now? They do whatever they want to us, man. And then they show it on TV to show you. That's what they're doing, you know. They put it on TV for you to see, for you to have fear. That's what they did with Nick Cannon. They make an example of him. So anybody else in Hollywood, if you have something to say, keep shut, keep your mouth shut. Because you remember a couple years ago, I said they were bringing out all these slave movies. And black people was like, why are they showing all these slave movies? Those slave movies wasn't for black people to watch. Those slave movies was for these little white devils to watch. They showing their children how they dealt with us for their children to have that same energy, man. So now the most I saying, when do what? Establish the nation of Israel, man. The most I gonna establish you so-called black Hispanic and native people, man. And the children of Israel that scattered in the four corners of the earth. And the main country we're gonna break in pieces is the so-called white man, man. That's right. That's right. The so-called white man have to go. You understand me? There's no place on this earth fine for white people, man. Right? Read for you for me, um, brother. Proverbs 16 and 4. The Lord have made all things for himself. Really? Yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. So, that, so the most I make him for us, man. We might in this situation know you wonder. How are we going to get out of this? But when you read the history, and you see Moses take 600,000 people out of the land of Egypt. When you look at them, and we was rebellious, right? But when we're together and go to war, nobody ever stop us, brothers and sisters. Uh. What do you think they divide us what they did? They, and they do it perfectly well. You have to give it up to Esau for that man. He tell you, Jamaican, the Asian don't like you. First thing when I was growing up as a child going to school, they tell you every disease and the is come 80 of it. So they put that in your consciousness. So you grow up now, you hate the Asian. You understand me? Look at the Spanish tribes. They war amongst each other. So the white man do a good job. So now the most I say, I'm going to establish a kingdom. Yo, tell me about the and when we, man, bro. Huh? Tell me about the white man. Tell He's the, the devil the Bible speak of. What, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> what, what is there to tell you about the so-called white man? You understand me? And I'll ask brothers and sisters, if you can name one good thing the white man have ever invented, apart from destruction and guns, and killing other people and homosexuality and sodomizing the nation. African, that's what you understand me? This man track record. Look at it. Look at Trump in office. What are you going to do with Trump in the plantation? That's why the most I go and gave us spiritual power, brothers and sisters. Because some of them going to want to kill themselves. And you're going to say, no, no, no. You might shut him a box, wake him up, get up out of sleep. Man. There's cotton to be picked, man. They ain't going to escape, brothers and sisters. That's why Yahweh shy tell in Revelation 1 that the man who pierced him is going to see him. The man who spit in our king's face. He's going to see the king. Get that. Um, Revelation 7 4. No, not Revelation. Isaac in German. 4 7. R 7 4. The line come from the ticket. Right? 
So when the hour shy see the man who spit in his face, shallow one, my brothers, when the hour shy see that man who spit in his face, what do you think gonna happen? They spit in our king's face. You understand me? You, your king come, a man come to save black people. And first thing the white man do is murder him. Every black person who stand up for black people or Hispanic people, where they are today? And who kill them? Who do it? Right, Yabit? Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 7. The lion has come up from his thicket. So now, when, remember, when Yahushai come the first time, he was a lamb. But now it said a lion has come up from his thicket. You understand me? He's going through what those tears, so he's pushing through. And when you see a male lion get up, because the female lion do the hunting. So when you see a male lion get up, somebody gonna die. Because the lion is the only animal in the forest. He decide what he gonna eat today. All the other animals like the hyena, the scavengers, they have to look for something. But the lion, he decide what's on the menu today. If it's an impala, if it's a deer, if it's this, if it's that. You understand me? The lion is the only one do that. Right? Mm -hmm. The lion has come up from his thicket, and the destroyer of the Gentiles is on his way. Mm -hmm. The destroyer of the Gentiles is on his way. To do what? He has gone forth from his place to make thy land desolate. To do what? To make thy land desolate. Mm -hmm. And thy city shall be laid waste without an inhabitant. We don't know about the inhabitant, man. So you see, this is just part of the white man's track record. You see, just like how this place here desolate today, I've been to Mount Sierra, and um, it's a um, tourist resort, and it's ninety dollars to go into Mount Sierra, ninety US. And I walk in there and only see buildings. And when I'm there, I say, why would white people come back and be visiting Mount Sierra if they never know of it? Mount Sierra is in the back of Jordan, and why white people traveling four hours? from the Jordan airport to reach to Mount Seir to go to see. They're showing their history, man, they know it. And ask any white people, Pope Leo is the one who rebuilt the city because they have it there in walls. So while Pope Leo go back to Petra in the 1700s and build back Petra, if white people never come from out that land. Right, right. So that's their track record. So just look, over there is Canada, America, the white man have to go. Huh? Our spirit. oppressor have to go. Unclean spirit. You understand me? Because first thing we want back Israel. And when we take Israel, those Palestine ain't gonna be there neither. But it's a, it's a ample time they come out the land. Because by to be right, we never been in the land by ourselves yet. Right. And as a 12 nation, the 12 nations have not been in the land for ourselves yet. Because two tribes was over there in Jordan, right? Yep. So we need to take them back over the border now, and we just need peace in our land. At least a thousand ah. years. Can a black man get that? Yes, sir. Yes, we sir. just want a land without Edens for a thousand years. Even the most I say, when a man marry a new wife, do what? Spend a year with her, right? Yes, don't come knock me out to no camp. I don't want to hear about no war. I'm not coming to no unity parade. I'm, I need to spend a year with that wife. So is it too much for Israel to ask for a thousand years in our land by ourselves, man? Right. But that's what the most I find do, man. The scripture saying when build back the unwalled villages when I read Ezekiel 38, man. And the most I when gave us back prosperity. Give me Psalms 82. You have something? Read. It says Malachi 1 and 4. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus said the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. But you know how big this is? As I see when the priest was up here teaching, a brother asked him, oh, you know the Bible is right. But just read that again and see the essence of it. Because remember, the most I did destroy Sodom and Gomorrah, right? He built back, right? The most I destroy Egypt, right? He built back, right? That's right. And used questioning the Bible in 2020. Esau said, he, the most I said, I'm destroying all those places. But he said, Esau said, I'm going to build it back. Hey, just like, you know, Alexander tried to rebuild the Tower of Babel. Exactly. And, and the Lord killed him within a month after he tried to do that. Given AIDS, because Alexander was homosexual to him. That's right. Yeah. The man who started white privilege, the most I give him AIDS, man. Ah. And those people in India, they're a bunch of Sodomites too, man. That's right. That's right. Alexander have a couple boyfriends well up there, man. Ah. 
Right? So read that from the top again for me, my brother. Malachi 1 and 4. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. So the, everything what they build up, the most I going throw it down again on a higher level. Because the so-called white man built back Saddam and Gomorrah. He built back everything that the most I throw down there, man. Understand me? And when you look over there, in Saudi Arabia, the land name is Arabia. You understand me? When you, when you call the land Saudi Arabia, you're calling it after those bunch of white people, man. The land is Arabia. So those Saudi family, they're a bunch of crackers too, man. Isa is still eating the fatties of the earth in, the, in all these different areas, man. I went to Jordan, I see a picture of King Abdul. They said this man is the original Jordan, and I look Isa straight in his face, man. You understand me? And he have like seven wives. So, and he control all the gas because the Jordan dollar is more than the American money. So that's what you brother, see? Sons of man, sons of God, worshiping God, Satan just present himself. You see that, right? We can even reason together without Satan be there. Man. Right? What you have? I'm going to finish it. It says, They shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness. So, no. Because I'm asking myself, and I reason with some brothers. The greatest God in the earth, nobody knows his name. He's most on Christ, blessed brother. <laughs> The greatest power on the planet Earth. Nobody knows his name. When I read the Bible, the Most High said, "Coming back to destroy a nation." Esau gonna go. Go let Hebrew bring it up. Nobody knows who Esau is. So nobody knows the greatest power in the earth, and nobody knows the nation of people that God is. You ever see that? So the Most High said, "Everybody going know Esau in that day." You know who going know it? The saints. Cause what the saints gonna do? Get Psalms. Two edged sword. The saints gonna know him. And the saints why know that's the bard of wickedness. That's the man who you need to point the swords on. Why? Everybody will know it, brothers and sisters. So it's high time for we just need to come together. We we we're doing something, but we need more motivation. We need to put it on the on the ice level now, man. Because we're getting old now. I remember a girl Hebrew was a young man, no, I know beard, huh? I remember you two when you come in, didn't you have hair in your head? Y'all doing here now, y'all soon ball again. So let's do it in our generation. Because I don't know sure about my children anymore. I'm not too sure about this younger generation. Like, something wrong with them. You understand me? Read what you have, my brother. Psalms chapter 149, verse 5. Let the saints be joyful in glory. So you see that? The saints oh, said so the saints gonna be joyful and they're gonna be in glory. That means they know the most high name. And they know what they're joyful in. They know what they're going to glory in. So these are the saints. Read. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth. And I can tell you this. All of us doing that now, man. All of us on our bed wishing. You understand me? You just wishing. Like, make your house shy. Just pop up now and just forgive me of my debts. Because I ain't too holy at this moment. So I still need my king to forgive me. But just let me see this white man in slaves, man, in chains. Hallelujah. So we sit on our bed and we being joyful, we singing, we hoping. That's what our hope is in. Right? Read. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hands. So what the saints have a two-edged sword for? Get me that button, brother. Read. To execute vengeance upon the heathen. To do what? To execute vengeance upon the heathen. To do what? To execute vengeance upon the heathen. Read. And punishments upon the people. Read. To bind their kings with chains. To do what? To bind their kings with chains. And you see Trump walking on here freely. You see Putin in Russia. He walk. Putin walk alone, intimidating. You understand me? You see Putin coming in show up his shoulder, you look and smile. You see this what 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 this prince name in Arabia? That they chop up that man in Turkey? That reporter, you remember him? The no, prince in no, no. Arabia, man, in chop up that reporter. Prince. When you see them, because a lot of people don't know, the color white is war garment. So when you see a man in dressing white all the while, he's showing he's ready for war. So the prince in Arabia, he just wear white. When you have the G20 meeting, the G40, pull up any picture, you see him in full suit of white. So they know what time it is. But we don't have that mindset. Do we have that mindset? 
but we should. We should, because the reporter was talking things about what Arabia was doing, and what he did, he put that reporter to death, right? But the white man steal everything we have, man. I'm not saying go out there and chop his ass up, fine now. But I said, think about it, man. Think about it, man. Reminiscing on it, man. Because David said, happy Z, you take that little one and dash him head against the wall, man. You're going to say, hey, little devil crying. First thing, just think about Chucky. Remember in the 90s when you see Chucky come out, you're scared as hell? So you're going to the house and say, like a devil crying, just think about Chucky, man, and just take his head mushed against his story. Ah, so I've right. saw that motivate right. him, man. That's right. All so right. think of it. Because they think about that every day, brothers and sisters. That's why Marcus Garvey said in Atlanta, 1920, Marcus Garvey said, if you want to rule this earth, you have to think like your enemy think. You have to act like your enemy act. You think Isa care how old he is? You was going to chop some sugar cane. You was going to pick cotton. They don't care about stuff like that. So we have to have that same mentality. So that's why we have to think about stuff like this, man. The scripture says you must think about it when you're in your bed. You go to bed, you sleep, and you wake up, and you say, damn, that was a dream? It feels so real. Right, right. You're all sweating. Damn. You wake up disappointed. Think about stuff like that, man. Because the day coming, brothers and sisters, and guess what? We can't be punk no more. Can somebody lead you in captivity again, eh? Can somebody lead you in captivity again? Right. Impossible for the... I'm, I, I'm too lazy to work in the cotton field again, brothers and sisters. I can't be there again. That's right. I'm not my four parents. I'm not, I'm not them, brothers and sisters. You understand me? So you see? But there are one tribe in the Caribbean in the 1800s. The Haitians come up and they say, no, this is it. You see your unity good? That's right. They get up and they say, no, man, this is it, man. That was the 1800s, man. You know how much years ago that? So when all the rest of the tribes scared and calling the white man master, the Haitians get up and say, no, man, enough is enough, man. I know you stop your oppression. By shedding blood, man. And when the Asian do it, that was a common sense for every black man, even the Africans, man. Because you don't know the history what's there. You don't know the history. Because every slave that tried to get away, they tried to head to the Atlantic Ocean. Because Haiti was a refuge for black people in the 1800s. And they said enough is enough. Enough is enough. So even all you, some of you brothers and sisters, Haiti, apart from Bolivia, I think Haiti is number three poorest country in the Western Hemisphere. You understand me? So some of you brothers and sisters, you have clothes and stuff you don't wear no more. Pack it in a bag, send it down there, man. Send it to even a Christian church. They because they issue stuff out here. Because we don't have the privilege to be doing that on that level now, man. Because we know why they're in that position that they're in, man. Because they were the front light for every so-called black man on the planet Earth, man. Because when 80 start that, then you have countries start to rebel. You have Jamaican come out for the same thing, other countries start to follow suit. So if you want freedom, what you have to do for freedom, you have to shed white people's blood, man. Because the white man will never allow you to rule. And when Brother Hebrew was teaching too, I remember I mentioned that the white man must go. And he mentioned that the white man going to be slaves. But I said, there's level to slavery. Because any day I get up and hear Esau start to campaign about equal rights and justice in Jerusalem, all hell going to break loose at <laughs> yeah, that's not me. Yeah. You, you, you walk down the street, you see Esau down there teaching, oh, these niggas is the devil. What? It ain't gonna happen. But you see, we have to understand that. In, in, in Africa, it was we alone. In Africa, it was we alone. The most I said, he turned his back on us. And that was righteous judgment. Give it up to the Mosai for that. Uh. That was righteous judgment. But you see now, you have saints returning now. The Mosai is fighting with us, man. Yeah. When you read the history, man, he tell you, angels used to come down and fight with Judah Maccabees, man. How powerful Judah Maccabees was. 
If he was here today, it would be a so called Asian too. That's right. But when Judah Maccabees was on the earth, man, angel come and say, No, you set the foundation. We ain't setting up. You set it. We'll fight with you, Judah Maccabees. Man. So that's how now we have the most high fighting with us, brothers and sisters. So it's a difference. You understand me? It's a difference when you have the God of Israel on your side. Even David said, man. That's how we're unstoppable now. And that's why scripture said, let the weak say I'm weak no more, but I'm strong. You understand me? So you brothers out there in the street, day in and day out, just know that. You understand me? Because we see we go to Israel, the priest is here. And four brothers in Israel, and we see white people scared. I was like, damn. Even if I have a little doubt, I'm confident now, man. You understand me? We go there, everybody looking scared, astonished, and it's just four of us. That's why I always tell the priest, let's go. Because Zion is calling. That's the place we're going to fight for. So that brother with the NFSC, that's his calling, so be it. I ain't farming no military in America. I ain't fighting nobody in America. My blood shedding in the land of Israel, man. That's right. They can keep America. Because you're the NFC leader asks for Texas too, right? He said, give us Texas. No, we need a whole region in Northeast Africa, brothers and sisters. After 400 years, they give me Texas when my ancestors bloodshed. You understand me? <laughs> Half of Texas is a desert. There's nothing out there. <laughs> Cut in uh, Psalms. Come. This is uh, Psalm chapter 149, verse 7. To execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people. To bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. To execute upon them the judgment written. This I honor have all his saints. See that? So the saints know what to do. So that's the first precept you tell about Malachi. Give me Isaiah 3 2. So the saints might know who the bard of wickedness is, man. So it's for your best interest for you all to hear we're worshiping together, brothers and sisters. This is what we do. You have brothers here, they study. You understand me? They do research. Everybody have their own office. When I come in the truth and I remember 2013, I hear brother say, Israel is not Israel, it's Peru. Brother say it was Mississippi, Utah. I say, all right, no, let me let me go to Israel and find it. Never been there. Go there by faith. And when I go there, um, I start looking at the Bible and then I see the Salt Sea. The white man call it the Dead Sea. But the Bible call it the Salt Sea. So I, I go on YouTube, no, Google. I'm not going to Peru. I say, is there a Salt Sea in Peru? What was the answer? No. I said, is there a salt sea in Utah? He said, no. So I said, okay then. I'm at least I'm at the right place. Right. So, and I said, if we was in captivity in Egypt, we'll reach Peru. You understand me? So when, when we go there, it's a lot of information we share to the entire earth. That's what we do. We, we conquer here, we conquer there, because what? The entire earth is ours. Right? Read what you have for me, my brother. So, uh, Isaiah chapter 3, verse uh, 11. Okay, Isaiah 3 and 2. The mighty man and the man of war. Verse 3. The captains of 50. Oh, Isaiah 2 and 3. Isaiah chapter 2, verse 3. And many people shall go and say. Isaiah 2 and 3. And many people shall go and say, Come ye and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord. So many people, meaning nations, when he said, Come and let us go to the mount of the Lord. For what? Why? Read to the house of the God of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways. Why are they going up to Jerusalem to ask you to teach them your ways? Because you're going to be saints in the land, man. And when you're back in that land, that's when the most are going to deal with us on what? On a higher level, man. So nation, remember when David became king, who was the first nation that went up there and bring peace with David? Anyone of you know? Was the king of Tyre, right? Right? And Tyre need help now, right? Because Tyre today is Lebanon. The land of Lebanon is Tyre today. You see what just happened there, right? They going to need help, so they going to need an alliance again. Right? Finish up that time. It says, And he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law. It says, For out of Zion shall go forth the law. That's where we're heading back to, brothers and sisters. Zion is everything. Get Psalms 87 too with that too. 
Right. Zion is everything, man. So that's why we that's where we have to fight as young men. When you read Zachariah, the most I said, Yahweh Shai coming back to defend Judah at Mount Olives, man. Zion is everything for us, man. They can keep, keep America. We want to fight for it. Keep it. Because America is personal. America is desolate now, man. But we have a future. That's the difference between we and the Muslim. We have Ken Farah can take it. We can do this, Farah can take it. The last time Farah went to Mecca, how old it was? Mecca, Mecca, Mecca. The last. I don't know. He went 42 years ago. Huh? That's the last time he went to Mecca. But let me ask you the next question. When was the last time Farrakhan went to Israel? Well, last year, did he? No. Two years ago? 98. Benami was still alive. You see the difference? Farrakhan went to Israel 1997 and 1998. And the last time he went to Mecca was 42 years ago. So why he went to Israel? Ask yourself that question. So the only thing that they have to offer you is good words, man. We have everything to offer you. We have the laws of God to offer you, and we have land to offer you. Because the most I tell you, there's a land that what? Flow it with milk and honey, man. Read the way out, back. Psalms 87 and 2. Psalm 87 and 2. The Lord loveth the gates of Zion more than all the dwellings of Jacob. So you have to understand that too. It's the part of this earth where the most I love than anywhere else on this planet, man. And that's the gate of Zion. Because what? The temple was the Zion, man. When you read the history, tell you, when the Romans destroyed the temple, the priests them commit suicide, man. Because the temple represent what? The house of the most high. And the day of atonement, the smoke used to come down. He said that the most high used to come down and deal with all Israel, man. So you so-called black, Hispanic, and native people, you have to love where the most I love, man. Because you're still over here, you still have some of that Americanness in you. It's hard to get out of you, man. But you have to realize this is not your home. I see brothers fighting for black. To claim it. When there's a whole other land that the most I gave to you. When Yahweh Shai said the kingdom of God is within us, what that mean? If we come together as one now and one accord, what do you think why I'm in the world? We give everything a try, everything. But as a nation of people, do we give the Bible a try, brothers and sisters? Do we give the word of God a try? Are we praising the most high with as it's telling um Deuteronomy 28, we don't praise him with joyfulness of our things? Get that from me. Are we praising the most high? Are we supposed to praise him? So that's why even um Kahan, we reason and we talk. When we see you young brothers out there, man, we see you camp down there to young brothers teaching, man. We come in, you brothers, man. Because when I come in the truth, that most man that was in the truth was a whole lot. You understand me? You, you all don't understand what the 90s was like. But everybody above you was your elder. But to see you young man come, that's how we know the Bible real, man. Hallelujah. Because the most I say in the last days, the spirit will come down on you brothers, man. Huh. So it's your duty to bring this home, man. Y'all just not here to hold posts. Read. You understand me? Get me that at um, Psalm 68, 11. Read what you have. Deuteronomy 28 and 58. If thou will not observe to do all the words of this law that are written in this book, that thou mayest fear this glorious and fearful name, the Lord thy God, then the Lord will make thy plagues wonderful and the plagues of, uh, of thy seed even great plagues. Yeah, so you see that? Because we, what we never do is going to befall our children, man. Because we get the opportunity now to be right. We get the opportunity where we don't have to commit murder. We get the opportunity where we don't have to be adulterer, man. Why you want to deal with your brother wife, man? We get the opportunity where you don't have to rob from your brother, man. We get a better promise now, brothers and sisters. So we cannot do what our four parents do. I'm still calling the white man the devil. Right. If you call the white man the devil, make sure you're being opposite to this white man. Teach right. That's right. Now we cannot act like him and rule the kingdom of God. That cannot work. So we have to go on that next level now, brothers and sisters. Right? Read. Um, that's what I'm at. Um, 
Uh, this is Psalm chapter 68, verse 11. The Lord gave the word. So you hear what it said? The Most High gave the word. Read. Great was the company of those that published it. So you're a great man here, man. So don't let nobody ever tell you you're not great, man. When I read Acts, the second chapter, man, it tell you it was devoted man in that house with Peter, man. But how much of them could you name, apart from the disciples? Remember, the man was there from our nation, but the scripture call him devote. The most I call you devote, that's a great honor, right? So the most I say, you all publish this word, you become great men, man. So you walk with the shoulder up, because what? You're representative of the most I, man. When someone's walking in Israel, they said, declare yourself, is it war, is it peace, man? And some of you can't be too soft neither, man. Because man gonna step on your toes. It's natural. That's what man do. And don't let nobody tell you you don't need leaders, man, or elders, man. I came in the truth when I was 16 in Jamaica. I get shot the same goddamn here, man. I didn't need elders to teach me, man. And that's what saved my life, man. So you have people out there with bugged out doctrine now. Don't let them tell you otherwise, man. Be a living testimony. You're coming this truth, you must change, evolve. Be better than your leaders, man. So read it from the top again, huh? Uh, so, uh, Psalm 68 11. You have, you have it? Yeah. Deuteronomy 28 and 48, verse 47. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. So you see that? We wasn't worshiping the Most High with joyfulness and gladness of heart. We was puffed up. When I read the book of Amos, we was waiting for the Sabbath to be done to do wickedness, man. So we wasn't praising the Most High with joyfulness of heart in the abundance of all things. What happened to us? Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. So if we don't want to serve the Most High, guess what? We're going to serve the white man. I see black people crying for minute for, for what, what they call it. They want minimum wage to raise. Oh, you put a price on your labor, black man and black woman, man. When you're representative of God, oh, you put a price on yourself, man. White man give you ten dollars a hour, I give you twelve. You smile, but you get a raise. Get a raise from what? We need maximum raise, man. We need our land back, man. You take your minimum wage, go shove it up, and um, Bill Gates ass, man. That's right. Don't talk about minimum wage. There's no price for your labor, brothers and sisters. You don't have no good job. There's no job that good. And that's a brainwash where they give our parents, send a child to school to come and get a good job. Which job is good? Being a slave. There's no price for my labor, brother. I go to work, I'm the laziest man on the job. As I reach there, I'm angry. If they say who's leaving, I'm the first one leaving, brothers. You understand me? When you get this truth, man, things start materialize. As I tell brother, when I just came in the truth, he said, um, get me Psalms 137, my son. I busy you dash that little bastard against the wall. And I used to read the scripture and I was like, the most I have to put this in our spirit, man. Or you going to just go in there and see a baby and kill the baby, man. And get me um Pippi Slaughter, Isaiah. Psalm 137 and 9. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. So see what the most I said? So when I just came in the truth as a young man, I know some of you still fighting with that. Oh, I'll do it. But when you read Revelation and the scripture say, Satan shall wear your soul out, man. No, I'll do that and go to bed and sleep like I did nothing. Right. Right. Because I understand that's all my enemy is. They do that and it's like nothing to them. So read that from the top again for me, brother Assad. Psalm 137 and 9. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. Get me Psalms 24. Read that right from the brother. It's Isaiah chapter 14 verse 21. Prepare slaughter for his children. So why would the most I say prepare slaughter for his children? And David said, happy is the man who take it that little one and dash him against the wall. Remember I tell you if you want to rule this earth you have to think like them? You have to think like them brothers and sisters. So early in the truth I would struggle with that. But now, all that fear is gone. When you have a shy come, you better don't let me roll up in the house. You remember, who remember the movie Riddick? Remember the man going to the house and see Riddick and never kill him? And Riddick come and kill his ass? 
So it's the same thing what happened to Saul, they play out in that movie, man. You go, you, dist you get the commandment, the most I say, the animal you kill, man. Because these white people sleeping with these dogs. And these black women following all that act too, man. So the most I give you a command to sweep out the place. You sweep out the entire place, man. House cleaning. Read up. Isaiah 14 to 21. Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities. Because I'll be very angry, man. I see a next Trump rise up 10 years after this. I'm going to be a very angry man, man. And you have black people running around here. Trump don't love black people. Why you want Trump to love you? Pastor. Who is coming up next, girl, Avery? So, the priest want to come up next? You understand me? Why, why black people want looking love from Trump? And why is Trump a bad president? Have they ever been a good president? Hey, he's a great president. <laughs> <laughs> black people, oh, Trump don't love black people. Why are you looking love from the enemy, man? Name one president in America that was not racist. That's right. Name one. I want, listen, man, I hope Trump is the last president of this place, brother. I need yeah. salvation and I need it. In heaven. Right? But before the priest goes, make us up, finish Psalm 24 for me. Psalm to the 24, what verse is Jurassic Park? Verse 1. Now, this is very important. Can you see? The land of Israel, you know, was created for every black people. But guess what? Every black man is not going to inherit it. It's only a special few who inherit it, man. Right? Read. Psalm 24 and 1. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. So we have to understand that. The earth is the most and the fullness thereof. Read. The world and they that dwell therein. Read. For he hath founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? So who shall ascend into the hills of the most high? Who shall see Zion? If I tell you who, read. It says, or who shall stand in his holy place? So who going to stand in his holy place, man? Then I tell Moses, take off thy shoes, man. Where does stand his holy ground? Who going to do that? Read. He that hath clean hands and a pure heart. Is your hands clean towards your brothers? Is your heart clean, pure towards your brother? You have to have a clean hands and a pure heart stand in the presence of the most high man. Read. Who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive the blessing from the Lord, and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him. So that's why the most I tell you, I have a generation of them that seek him. So you brothers and sisters that out there want to stand off and look, you have to be part of that family. You have to be part of that generation that seek your God. Because guess what? The how are going to do marvelous things on this earth, man. See that bomb where you see drop in Beirut? That's marvelous. You understand me? You see storms coming. You see all kind of atrocity. You see America in bankruptcy. That's marvelous, man. That's right. So God going to do great things on this earth, man. So you better be in that zone. Finish up. Come. It says, this is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob. Salah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give more and thought to our hand, but it was spoken on the spirit. We know, we want to give all praise to you, Ba Shemi Shah. Who are we? We are the servants to teach that the Most High raised up in his last day, the forewarning of the second coming of a Mashiach Yahweh Shai, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ. Give me Colossians 3 and 17. What you're going to find out that you've been lied to by your pastors, by your preachers, by your political leaders. We are living, indeed, the last days according to Bible prophecies. Okay, you're living in a, a unique time of prophecy when your forefathers, your ancestors, wish to see this time okay the downfall of america the downfall of your enemies and the redemption the salvation of the 12 tribes of israel read that colossians 3 and 17 and whatsoever you do in word or deed do all in the name of the lord yahweh shine giving thanks to god and the father by him right so everything we do the most out of masha yahweh shine's name that's the true spiritual power in heaven that's going to be established right here on earth give me matthew 23 verse uh, 24 verse 3 
Okay, so the north side is calling back the 12 tribes of Israel, you so-called Negroes, West Indian Haitians, North American Indians, you make it the 12 tribes of Israel. Some of our people are still there in so-called Africa. Okay? But they don't, they don't, they don't label themselves Africans. When you hear about the Ashanti and the, uh, uh, what the Nebo, uh, what's the other? They go by their tribal names. Okay? Um, what do you call it? Limba tribe, right? Read that, Matthew 24, 3. This is the Matthew chapter 24, verse 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him pr privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? Right, so this is what you're asking yourself. Okay, when is the end of the world? When is Christ, when my Shekinah going to come back, a so-called black man? Because some of you are still in delusion. What about you, brother? Give me one minute. What color is the Messiah according to the Bible? Come here, give me one, give me one minute, brother. So our brothers know they don't have time for the Bible. When they, when they see the chariots drop, when they see the bombs drop in America, then they're going to say, oh, Lord. Okay? He was out here smoking his butt, getting drunk, everything, he had enough time in his hand. But now the word of the Most High said nobody has any time. Okay? But one time you're going to try to call the Heavenly Father, and, it's, and the, it's, the number's going to say it's been disconnected. Okay? He's going to cut off communication. Okay, read that again. Matthew 24 and 3. And he sat upon the Mount of Olives. The disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. That what? That no man deceive you. That no man deceive you. Because the way the white man is acting, you think that what? That America's going to go on forever. Hold that. Give me a, you give me Psalm 49. Uh, the end with thought that they also continue forever. Okay? They, they'll make you think that America is going to go on forever. Right? You got uh, Donald Trump talking about, well, let's make America great again. America's not going to be made great. Okay? The only future for America is destruction. That's right. Thermal nuclear right. destruction. We are headed for the Third World's War. Okay? So we already know the determination, the destiny of America. But what about you, so called black men and black women? Westerning man, Westerning woman. It is time for us to repent to come back to the Lord and set the commandments. Okay, like the more uh, Dr. West said that what? Our hands got to be clean and our hearts got to be right. Okay, we got to learn to be uh, brotherly and sisterly amongst our nation. Because we've been brainwashed, we've been taught to love the other nation, love the white man and hate ourselves. And hate our own people. Okay, one of the most prominent speeches of Malcolm X is the one he said, who taught you to hate yourself? Right. Okay, you got to think about that. That is a master plan that the white man taught us to hate our own skin color, to hate our own people and to love them. And a lot of our people say, well, well what about the white man? Is he going to the kingdom of God? Forget about your own people, forget about your own nation, forget about the atrocities, forget about us being in the ghettos and the slums, the last high, the first fight, talking about what I can't breathe. Can't we all just get along? But you want to see, they're already in their kingdom, they are in their salvation. There's no more rulership after this rulership. Okay, we done. Uh, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Hamashiach, and shall deceive many. Right, the millennium coming and saying what? They are Christ. Okay? The main thing is called what? Christianity. A lot of people have a strong delusion that this is the Messiah. In 2020, you still got so-called black people still believing that the Messiah is a so-called white man. But the ironic thing, they always say, well, nobody knows what Christ looks like. But how come they always paint him as a Caucasian? Shouldn't you paint him as a rainbow? Okay, make him invisible? They do this to, to continue to perpetrate white supremacy. To let you know that they're on the top, okay, and we're in the bottom. This man is actually six years the second son of Pope Alexander the Sixth of Rome, painted by Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci. Okay? Read that what you got for me in Psalms. Uh, Psalms chapter 49, verse 11. Their inward thought is... Their what? Their inward thought... Wait, right, because they talk about, let's make America great again. 
America's failing financially, ecologically, okay? The water's polluted. The air's polluted. Mainly what's polluted? The minds of the people, okay? We're living in a time period that they made what? They made Nick Cannon to apologize for reclaiming his identity, but you don't got a transgender apologize for being a transgender. You don't have a, a, a homosexual, okay, apologize for going up another man's behind. You don't have a, a, a grown man being a pedophile, but you want this man to, to, to apologize for reclaiming his identity. Bring it out. Okay. We are looking at the biggest case of identity theft being plotted on the planet Earth. That's right. The so-called white man stole your true identity. What about you, brother? Let me ask you a question. What's your, what's your nationality? You don't know, right? That's the honest answer, right? But this is 2020. Don't you want to find out? Because it... Huh? You don't want to find out why? You just want to stay illiterate, right? You want to stay ignorant? Because that's what the white man, that's what he wants. He wants our people to stay that way. So he can continue to steal our identity. He said, I don't really care. See, this is the typical mindset of our people. You got Isaiah 1, 3? Read that. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 3. The ox knows his owner. What? The ox know of his owner. So the Bible says the ox know of his owner. What type of animal is an ox? Characteristic of an ox. It's known as what? It's known as a stubborn animal, right? So the Bible says the ox know of his owner. Even though it's a stubborn animal, he still knows who's his owner, who it belongs to. Come on. And he asked the ma his master's crib. And a donkey's master's crib, okay, as dumb as a donkey is, he still knows how to get back home where he lives. But guess what? We. But Israel. But, who? but Israel. But what? But Israel. Israel. The so-called black man. Come on. Dove not know. He what? Dove not know. Why well, the brother says, I don't know. He said, and quite naturally, he said, I don't care. Okay. Come on. My people dove not consider. They what? My people dove not consider. Why? Right. He just want to know when is the next blood being uh, lit. Okay, who got five on his butt? That's all he want to know. Okay, come on. Ah, uh, sinful nation. Ah, uh, sinful nation. What right, a sinful nation. What about you, brother? What is the meaning of sin? What is sin? Y'all give me a dollar Give you a dollar? We give you something that's more valuable than a dollar. Give me that first John three and four. You want a, you want money, right? You want a dollar. What you want a dollar for? You want a you want a dollar for what? It's about your thought process. Proverbs eleven and four. Wait, wait. So you said I gotta pay you to answer questions? Is that what you're telling me? Is that what you're saying for what you're saying in order wait a, in order for me to dialogue with my brother from another mother, I gotta pay you for a dialogue. Is that what you're telling me right now? It's not the it's not the price. What is it? It's your thought process. So what's the thought process? I ask you to dialogue with your brother, you say, give me everybody give you a dollar. What is your birthday? Wait, wait, what you got? Wait. Proverbs eleven and four. Richard your prophet not in the day of wrath. What? Which is profit not in the day of wrath. Right, so this 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 so-called American dollar Yo is God, about no to plummet. God, no God. It has no value. See? Okay, it has no value. See? Read that again. Which is profit not in the day of wrath. And what? But, but which is profit not in the day of wrath. Right, before every great kingdom, the most high God, the God of who? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, he sent forth the servants of the prophets, the four one that generation. We are here to tell you that America is going to be destroyed. That you are a son of the most high God, and you say, give me a dollar so you can dialogue with me. Okay? Where's the logic in that? Read that again. In Proverbs 11 and 4. Which is profit if not in the day of wrath, but righteousness. But what? But righteousness. But, who? but righteousness. That's what our people lack. They lack righteousness. Okay? What is righteousness? Apply the laws and the commandments of the most high. Okay, come on. But righteousness delivered from death. 
but righteousness delivered from death. But a lot of our people are walking dead. Okay? They're spiritually dead. They're, they're walking, they're talking, they're breathing, but they are spiritually dead. Give me Jeremiah 17, verse 4. Do I have to give you a dollar first? We'll read that. Titus chapter 3, verse 9. Mm -hmm. But avoid foolish questions. But what? Avoid foolish questions. But the Bible says to what? Oh. To avoid foolish questions. That is a that is sound doctrine that the Most High God gave can the prophets it, of the Most High. Read again. This is Titus 3 and 9. But avoid foolish questions mm -hmm. and genealogies and contentions. And what? And contention. Right, that's what you're trying to come with, contention. I came at you with love and you want to come with contention. Let's okay. Start over. Okay, let's start all over. Reverse and come back again. Now, how you doing, brother? I'm doing great. Okay, so now, the reason why we're here, because I travel hundreds of miles to be here because I love my people. Hallelujah. Okay, so before every great kingdom was, give me uh, Amos, you give me Amos 3 and 7. Am I going to ever be able to uh, I'm going to let you talk, brother. I'm going to let you talk. Am I going to be able to respond? Of course you are, brother. Of course you are. Of course you are. But, but just, just know that our foundation... It's this Bible, best instructions before leaving earth. Yes, okay, sir. this is the true authentic book of the Heavenly Father. Okay, read that. Amos 3 and 7. Come on. Surely the Lord God will do nothing. He what? Will do nothing. Come on. But he revealed his secret. Is what? His secret. So what is a secret? It's something that's not easily known, okay, to the average person. Read that again. Amos 3 and 7. Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealed his secret unto his servants, the prophets. So it's what? His servants, the prophets. Right, the servants, the prophets. Okay, so we are here to forewarn our people to tell them to do what? To repent, to come back to the Lord, set the commandments. That's why we're in the captivity we are today, because we broke the commandments of the Most High. That's why there's no justice, there's no peace. That's why our people talk about, I can't breathe. Talk about, can we all just get along? Because we rejected the commandments of the Most High. That's why he put us in the, in the ghettos and the slums. That's why we out here shooting each other black on black crime. Let me know when I can respond. Go ahead, brother. Uh -huh. Go ahead, brother. Okay. You asked the question. What was the question? When I first pulled up. What is sin? All right. Now, are you the leader of this group? There are many leaders, brother. Are you the leader? No, I'm not the leader. Christ, Amashek, Yahweh Shah is the leader. Yes, right. 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 Yahweh Shah is the leader. Give me another, give me the Corinthians 11. Oh, God, you said you're going to let me. You, I said, oh, oh. Let me create dialogue. Okay, go ahead. The, the, the dialogue was already created. Go on. Let me share with you. Okay? As of right now, are you the leader? I told you, I said, Yahweh Shah is the leader. You know that it's Yahweh Shah using you to speak right now. That's right. No, he's using me to speak right now. You see? Okay, so what's your point? You, you, I'm, I'm, wait, I'm, wait, I'm, but I'm waiting for you to get to your point. You're asking me your question. Okay, so now he's using you. What are you going to say? What are you going to say? Can you convince one, two, three, four, five? And you're going to dial again. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We're going to go with 12 right here. Can you convince the 12 to donate $1? I know. <laughs> if not, right? If not, I'm going to donate $1 each to the 12. No. Okay? And then I'm going to share with you what sensation really is. <laughs> give me a second. Give me a second. What you got? For what sin really is. You, you, give, me, you give me first John oh, no, 3 and 4. Can I, can I, you, are you ready? I thought you made your point. You asked me a question. What sin really is. Okay. Now, can we proceed? I don't, I don't know how the definite sin got to give everybody a dollar. I, I, I'm, I'm, it's not about the I'm dollar. Baffled. It's about your thought process. My thought, I don't have a thought process. My my understanding That's is right. of this Bible. That's okay? That's right. My understanding That's is for the right. Most High, Hamash Yahweh Shah, contained in this book. Can okay? you convince the 12 to give me a dollar? Ask me the question. 
Give me, give me a definite. You got what you got? Acts chapter eight, verse twenty. But Peter said unto him, Thy thy money perish with thee. Acts eight twenty. But Peter said unto him, Thy money perish with thee. Right, cause that's what's gonna happen. Let me help y'all. Okay, brother. Let me help. Give me, give me First John three and four. So the original question was, what's the definition of sin? No, no, no. Listen, we don't need the money, brother. Okay, we don't need the money, brother. I can Okay. I know what sin is. What is sin? Can you? What is sin? What is sin according to the Bible? Do you believe in the Bible? First of all, first I want to say, do you believe in the Bible? Can you convince? Do you believe in the Bible? Can you convince? Do you believe in the Bible? Yeah, wait, 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 wait. First John chapter three verse four. Whosoever committed sin, what? Whosoever committed sin, you avoid the question, God. We have one who, who, oh, yeah, who's in no doubt. Signs, oh, no signs. doubt. My bad. Okay. We, we got two in doubt. Well, we got so, what's the doubt? doubt? What's the doubt? We got four in doubt. Who's face, who's here face on that picture? Who's face, who's face is on there? Here, God. Whose face is on there? One, two, three, four. Oh, so who's, who's, the, whose face is on there? We got six in doubt. Here you go, God. We got seven in give me, doubt. Give me the, give me the definition go, of sin. First John three and four. We got whosoever eight Whosoever committed sin. We got nine in doubt. Sin. We got nine in doubt. Whosoever committed sin. Whosoever committed sin. Transgressed also the law. Yeah. What? Transgressed yeah. also the law. I made my sin, point. Come on. For sin God, is the transgression of the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. It's one okay? God. And who is he the God of? Who is he the God of? It's one God. Who is he the God of? We got one God. Right? That's never in doubt. Give me what? Who is he the god of? It says one god. Who is he the god of? Where are you standing right now? Who is he the god of? The universe. Huh? The, the universe. universe. Yes. Are all people? Are all people of the nation? Are, is he their god? Who's ever under this? Who's ever under? But you say you believe in the Bible. No, Didn't you say you believe yes, in the Bible? Absolutely. So which which scripture the Bible say he's the god of all nah, people? What hey, what verse? Yo God. What verse? I appreciate. You. What verse? Read that. Luke 1 and 68. Luke 1 and 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Read again. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Read again. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. That's what the Bible says. Okay. He's a God of the nation of Israel. Okay. He is a God of the nation of Israel. Okay. Give me Ezekiel 2 verse 3. Is he two or three? What to get you a dollar? To get you a dollar? Wait, no, he no, two no, verse three. Come on. And he said unto me, Son of man, yeah, I send it to the God. children of Israel. To what? To the children of Israel. You see, that's how I know our people are the children of Israel. Because we are the ones that's rebellious, the stiff necked, hard headed people in the Bible. Okay. America is about to be destroyed. The only thing you can come up with is can you give me a dollar? Okay, come on, read that again. This is Ezekiel 2 and 3. I, and he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel, to a rebellious nation. To what? A rebellious nation. To who? A rebellious nation. That's how I know you are Hebrew Israelite. Okay? Beyond a shadow of a doubt, you are rebellious. Okay, come on. To a rebellious nation. That has it says slugged to a rebellious nation that has rebelled yeah, against me. Glasses, they and their fathers yeah, have transgressed against me. They have what? They have transgressed against me. Come on. Even unto this very day. Even what? Unto this very day. Uh, even unto 2020. This very day. Come on. You need to put them on so you can see clearly. Oh, see God. For they are impudent God. children. They are what? Impudent children. They are what? Impudent, children. They are what? impudent children. Come on. And stiff hearted. And stiff hearted. And stiff hearted. Come on. I do send thee unto <laughs> them. And thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God. Thus saith who? The Lord God. See, what you fail to realize that these are not Never my fail, words. God. These are the words of Let the heavenly father. And you got glad and a magnifying glass. And you still can't see? Right. What the hell is wrong with you? Read. You it's a book of Ezekiel chapter 2, verse hey, 5. And they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. Hear or forbear. Whether you will hear or whether you will forbear. Right here, you forbear. Right here, you forbear. Come on. They are rebellious house. The most I can, not but once, not but twice, but three times, say you are a rebellious house. Come on. That is like a rebellious house. Yet shall they know that there has been a prophet among them. So you're going to know that a prophet of the most high God has been before you. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Absolutely. And brother, you got to come on and ask some questions, brother. Give me, give me Proverbs 1 and 22. Okay? Give me Proverbs 1 22. You can't because you be coming up against the most high God. And your hands are too short to box with your high by show me how it's Proverbs 1 and 22. How long, ye simple ones? What? 
How long ye simple ones? How, what? how, how long, long ye simple, simple ones? The Bible says, how long ye simple ones? Come on. Will ye love simplicity? Will you what? Will ye love, love simplicity? simplicity? I'm trying to tell you that the saints of the most high are going to take the kingdom. Will I be able? You ask me for a dollar. No. That's showing how my new, no, 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 my not, new not, our people not, mind is on. Okay, read it again. Let's start. Proverbs 1 and 22. Every time you going to start over, read that again. Proverbs 1 and 22. How long ye simple ones? Ye simple ones. So the Bible says, how long ye simple ones? Come on. Do, well, he do loves simplicity. Like what? Love me, simplicity. Talk like to that, me. Talk to me, brother. Talk to me. Word to God. Talk to me. We're right here. We're right here. We dialogue. Right Let here. Me help. Don't, don't get, don't get mixed up. No, 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 Proverbs no, no. 1 and How long, ye simple ones, will you love simplicity? And what? And the scorners delight in their scorning. And what? And the scorners delight in their scorning. And the scorners delight in their scorning. Okay? Because you think, listen, you, we're not out here to play think, games, brother. We're not here to play games. games. Okay? Let we're here. Help. We are sold to the most high like God. Help. Give me Ezekiel 37, well, verse 12. Right. I'll let you respond. Or you came back with asking for a dollar, dollar again. No, no, no. Okay, Forget read that. The dollar, man. Hey, the dollar is a done deal when he accepted the dollar. It's over with the dollar, B. I don't know how that happened. Yeah, because he's, he's no, he has no fucking doubt. That's how it happened. Doubt in what? Period. And, what, what? And, and what you need to get and what you need to be what, what a dollar? No, no, forget about the dollar. It's all about well, you that. need a dollar in a dream? Read that. Ezekiel 37 yeah. verse 12. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ezekiel 37 yeah. verse 12. Hey, Therefore hey, prophesy hey. and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, hey, Behold, O my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves Absolutely. and bring you into the land of Israel. Yeah, here, See, the here, most high is gonna bring us back to the land of Israel. Yeah. That is our homeland. Yeah, but put on so you can see. I see. What do you see? I'm looking at you. Huh? God right now. That's right. God body. That's right. No but he's most of said we shall die as men. Why? Right. Give me right. Isaiah 59 Let verse 2. God. Isaiah 59 Let verse 2. Help. You got to help yourself first, brother. No doubt. Okay. That's why I'm here. Isaiah 59 verse 2. Isaiah 59 and 2. But your iniquities. For what? Your iniquities. Uh, 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 your iniquity. Another word for sin. Come on. Have separated. No, no, what? Have separated. separated. And what? Have separated. I, I said sin, not sensation. No, Read it again. Isaiah 59 and 2. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God. You right, so your sin has separated you between let's you and the most high. God, let's go okay. back to the initial. Has separated let's go you. Back to the initial You've been back. separated. Come back. Come home, brother. Come on. Give me Jeremiah 3 verse 12. God okay. is here right get now. Him. You got you to come on the same Listen, page. God, okay. it's, it's about the question you asked me. Remember, Wait. it's about the question you asked me. Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 12. Go and proclaim these words toward the north. What is no, it? Go and proclaim these words toward the north. So where are we based mainly? North America says go and proclaim these words toward the north. I don't doubt And that. say. And what? And say. And, and, and say. And say. Come on. Return. To what? Return. To what? Return. The most I said to return. Come on. Thou backsliding Israel. Thou what? Thou backsliding Israel. Thou what? Thou backsliding, backsliding Israel. Thou backsliding Israel. You got to be sober minded in these last days. God. Sober minded God. in these last days. Come on. Your God. Amos 3 and 3. Come Can two walk help. together? Can what? Can two walk together? Can who? Can two walk, walk together? together? Can two walk together? Come on. Except they be agreed. Can what? Except, Except they, they be agreed. agreed. Except what? Except, Except they, they be agreed. agreed. Okay, so what's your How nationality? Many? What's your nationality? How many agree? What's your nationality? We're not going that Yes, far. we are going. We're still, we're still we going there. We go. What's your nationality? How many agree with me right How many, now? Nobody agree with you. That's right. That's right. That's right. I don't know. I'm going to have to have a council with that young man with an African. Read it again. Read it again. Amos 3 and 3. No, God. How can two walk together? How can two walk together? What? How can two walk together? What? How can two walk together? What? How can two walk together? Can two walk together? How can two walk together? Except they be agreed. Except what? Except they be agreed. Except what? Except they be agreed. Because you probably. Listen, that whole dollar, that's made out of witchcraft. You don't know that? Listen, God. Okay, you don't know it's made can out of I, witchcraft? Can I, can I respond? The currency in America is constructed under witchcraft. Did you know that? God. What you gonna, are you going to ask to me the dollar again? No, no. Okay, what you going to tell me now? Between you and I. What's, what's between you and I? The agreement. What's the agreement? Can you agree to let me interject and respond to the question? Go ahead, I'll give me your floor. And don't come back to that dollar thing. It's over for the dollar, man. It's over for the dollar. All right, go ahead, go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Can we agree? We, I can't. I gotta hear what you gotta what say. What do you mean, me. you? Can we agree? It gotta be the Most High's word. Give me Isaiah eight and twenty. Come on, man. Isaiah eight and twenty. Again. That's you right. Talking about. Hey, give me my post you see what I'm talking about? You want, me get, you want me to be like T.D. Snakes and cut no dollar? You want me to tell you my own words? Is that you're not gonna get me to tell you my own words? I said, can we agree? I agree on what, brother? Agree on what? To communicate. Communicate about what? About what I'm about My to say. My only I'm communication of the God of this Bible. That's the only thing we can talk Yo about. God. Okay, we got.
Yo, Isaiah 55 and Wait, 8. For yell. my thoughts are not your thoughts. Let me yell. See the most I said? You said what? For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Let me yell. Look, where did that come from? That's a white man's hand. Should we do a battle? Well, how have you worked doing? No, we got, we got to keep it. We got to keep, 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 keep it Hebrew, brother. No, God. We got to keep it Hebrew. See, that's the white man. It don't matter, God. That's the white man. We can do it less. How you want to do it? Let me show how we do it. Wisdom, so we agree. knowledge, understanding. So, oh, okay. right. all you rec all you recognize okay. now. We know that. Oh, you recognize we know that. Now. That's why we here, brother. Read that. Come on, Isaiah 55 and 8. Come but on, my man. thoughts are not your thoughts. Yo, 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 fam. My thoughts are not your thoughts. Yo, 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 his thoughts are not your thoughts. Come yo, fam. On. Neither are your ways, yo, wait, my ways. What? Neither are your ways, my ways. ways. What? Neither are your ways, my ways. See, the most high is not an author confusion. See, what you're doing now is it's confusion. You, okay, all, all, it's confusion. All you, you pointing? Yes, I'm pointing. You're no, doing God. with confusion. No, Read it again. God. Isaiah 55 and 8. That, For my thoughts are not, not your thoughts. Neither are your ways my ways. Say if you help. Say if what? Say if you help. Say if the most high. Come on. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Right, so the most I said his thoughts are higher than our thoughts. That's why we can't lean upon our own understanding. We got to go back to this Bible. Okay? Best instruction before the year. Which is wrong there? Isaiah chapter 8 verse 20. To the law and to what? To the law and to the testimony. So this is the only thing that we can agree on. The law and the testimony of the most high. Read it again. To the law and to the testimony yeah. that they speak not according to this word. See, if you don't speak according to this word, what come on, you it is because know? there is no light in them. There is what? There is no, no light, light in them. And we now talk about a bud light. Read it again. Right. To the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. There is no light in you. Give me a, a Proverbs 6 and 23. Read it again. To the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Right, so what does that light represent? What does the light represent when you read the Bible? It, what? Rest, it represents the illumination of your consciousness. Is that is that that sound like a like a Selassie like slash like no, no, uh, God, you, you see Rastafari God, 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 like God. slash five percent hey, slash God, read, read that Proverbs six and twenty three. For the God. commandment is a lamp. What? For the commandment is a lamp. For the commandment is a lamp. Oh, no. And the law is light. And what? And the law is light. And the law is light. And the law is light. And, and the, the law's light. light. And the law's light. Now, it's, look, you can't even get on because you don't got no light. <laughs> okay, you can't. You, oh, my God. You can't even get on. You don't have oh no God, light. Oh, my God. Look at this light here. Look. You need Yo, one God, light to see another light. light. Get that light there. See, man. all we got is we only have one light. Read it again. Look that Proverbs 6 and 23. For the commandment is a lamp, and the law is a light. And reproofs of instruction oh God, are the way of life. Ready, and the reproofs of instruction are the way of life. Who were instructed the way of life? Give me Proverbs 3, uh, 3 and 5. We're going to hold on for that. Don't run from God, man. But, uh, Don't run from God. Your hands are too short in the box without Don't God. Don't run from God. That's right. Don't run from God, man. Your hands are too short to box with your heart. Show me how it's shot. Read that. Proverbs 3 and 5. Trust in your heart. What? Trust in your heart. What? Trust in your heart. What? Trust, trust in Yahweh. Trust in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh. Come on. With all thy heart. With what? With all, all thy, thy heart. With all your heart and all your mind. Come on. Hallelujah. And lean not unto thine own understanding. And what? And lean not unto thy own understanding. And lean not unto thy own understanding. And lean not upon thy own understanding, brother. Don't do it to yourself. We love you, but that's why we're here. We love you, man. No doubt. Likewise. Now, you ask me a question. We already passed it already. No, you, 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 said you didn't agree. Huh? I can't agree. I can agree on to law and to the testimony. You right. ask me a question as to what is sin. Do y'all really want to know what sin is? We said sin, not sensation. We said sin, not sensation. Read. Proverbs 15 and 10. Correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way. And he that hated reproof shall die. You don't read it again. Read it again. Correction is grievous unto him. So you grieve because you don't want to. So you keep running your mouth. You don't want to be no, corrected. God. Oh, no, I'm very sad. Did you hear? I'm very What did I say? What is sin according to the Bible? All I, the last word I heard was grieve. Huh? And not me, God. See? You heard, you heard about this that guy. The last word I heard was what he said was grieve. Grieve? Grieve. Grieve? With a G. What? Brother. I don't know what you on, but you better stop it. That's right. That's okay. Right. Guess what? You gotta be so minded. Get in. Okay. No God. You, you gotta stop question. it. Whatever you, you taking. Whatever you taking. Just say no. Guess From what? From this point on, all right? What? Just say no. Guess what? Okay. Right. Yo, 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 and, start, and start digesting yo, this by start, start digesting digesting the word of the Do most. Do you high. really wanna know okay. what CNN? We already established that. 
to the word of Yahweh. No, not we. You. We established that already. No, you. We established that already. It ain't them. Well, now, it ain't nobody to your right or to your left. It's you, God. What you got? Hey, yo, God. Ecclesiastes 10 and 3. Yea, also, when he that is a fool, 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 walketh by the way, his wisdom no, faileth him. What? His wisdom faileth him. See, wisdom is what? The water. No, wisdom is right behind Proper you, application. No. Wisdom is water, but you God. are failing to exercise God, right you now. Really want to know you what are failing. failing. You passed that no, 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 no. Okay, you still don't ask the question. Why? Because your mind is somewhere else. No, God. Right. Okay. It was all the question that you, you asked. You got to be sober-minded. Which is very, 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 very Sober-minded. Come on. Uh, Ecclesiastes 10 and 3. Wrong, yeah, also, when he that is a fool walking no by the way, his wisdom faileth him. No God. And he said to everyone that he is a fool. No God. You even admitted you're a fool, brother. That's right. no, okay, you even admitted that. Okay, wait. You, hey, you Isaiah got that on, I bet you got that on camera, didn't you? This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 34. Verse, uh, it's like it. Isaiah chapter 34. You, 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 need to, you need to change your no, no, perspective God, no, your God. glasses because you, you can't you, see it all. No, God, you, 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 hey, you, you, see, got, you hey, have glasses you and know a magnifying glass. And you still can't see, brother. That's right. That's magnifying. right. You got a damn magnifying right. glass with a light. Read. Isaiah 34 and 16. You know Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. What's the book of the most high? The Bible. Best instructions before leaving out. You are a Hebrew Israelite according to the Bible. Repent, keep the commandments, right. and come back to the most high before it's too late. Now right. you're trying to do witchcraft on no, the no, no, absolutely not. <laughs> you're trying to cast a spell on me. You're trying to cast a spell on me. Absolutely not, God. I come to help you, Don't God. Don't let me repeat absolutely you. Absolutely not. Yeah, how about show me how I shine? Oh, hallelujah. Show me how I shine. Come on, whatever you want to do. Isaiah 34 and 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. And what? And read. And read. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. And read. And read. They said you want to hide anything from a black man. Where do you put it in a book? Why? Because we don't read. Okay, a lot of us met a hooked on phonics. And you can't okay, see. not even smarter than a, than a fifth grader. Okay, come on, read. Go no on. It says, um, hey, Yo, God, none shall want no her mate. What? None shall no want her mate. No other book can match up with this Bible. Okay, we already know that. So, why don't you take heed to the book? Your question. We already established what's in this. Come on, you running from none the shall want her mate. For my mouth, it has commanded. Yo, yo. And where's the mouth of the most high? I don't know what sin and really is. Part. We established that already, brother. Wait, what you say? It's the breaking of the most high's commandments. No, no. So what is it? Got I, said, I said sin. Do you? Not no, sensation. It's a yes or no question. Not sensation. No. I said Do sin. Do you know what sin okay. is? We just read it. No, no, you not word. we. You. We just Do read you? It. No. We just Do read you? It. We just read it. Ask you the question. We just read it. Somebody ask you the question. We just read it. Somebody, hey, somebody asked you, do I know a sin? Why would they want to ask a, get a, a yes, wrong I answer do. from you? Why would they want to yes, get do. a wrong answer from you? No, we talking to you. Why would they want to get an answer? God, it had nothing huh? to do with nobody hey, out here no but answer. you and I. Say, bring you know it what out. Sin is. I want to hear yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I know you do. I do you know a sin? Well, he want to know. He want to no, share no, no, with you. No, he want to know. 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 He wants to know. Like, I know you do. You see, you're about to spit off no, into no. the wind, into the, into, into the west. Hey, I see, look, listen, listen. Are you leaving? No, no. For the record. Are you leaving? For the record. Are you leaving? I want to see, look. I want Are you to, leaving? Listen, for the record. Are you I leaving? Salute, I want to salute y'all, right? And I want to salute you. But when you go home tonight, every one of y'all, when you go home tonight and you look in the mirror, ask yourself in the mirror, do you know what sin really is? And you're going to give yourself the answer. Are you going to give me a dollar or two? Can <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 I get the right, right answer? Right, right. Hey, oh! Now, <laughs> hey, yo, God, now we build it. Are you going to give me a dollar or two? You want a dollar? You're building that witchcraft. No, 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 I ain't got nothing to do with it. We can trade right now. We can trade right Who's now. Who's almost 13 11? What time is what? it? Oh, you don't want up? We can trade right now. Okay. Yeah. What you want, Trey? Yeah, because he asked, he wanted to give us a dollar, right? No, so, no, so what you want, Trey? No, no. The gift of a fool, 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 come on, hey, shall no, do God. thee no good. Shall what? Shall he do thee no work. good. Right, it's not going to be no increase. Okay, what's, what's a good work? A product. What's a good work? Well, the good work is you speaking, right? Romans 7, And you're going, with, you're going with the book, right? That's right. And you teach. So I'm not going to deal with your folly. No. 
Okay, right. hey, yo, what you're dealing with is folly. All my men friend. have short of, fall of, sin, short of sin uh, of the glory of God. Right? How long are you gonna continue on that path? That's right. No, until you look at through How long you continue glass, that path? Look, until you look through this magnifying glass and look at this simple. But you still can't glass. see though. You can't see. I can see. You can't see. That's why I come. How many fingers I'm holding up? I come. How many fingers I'm holding up? <laughs> How many fingers I'm holding up? God. Huh? I'm looking at your How eyes. How many fingers I'm holding up? You straight in your eyes. How many fingers? I'm looking straight to the right eye, but God. If you look and you know <laughs> that we're not here to play no games. No, God. He's okay. Don't okay. play okay. games, God. Okay, we're not here to play you games. Mean? No, you. We're here to break back the 12 tribal nations. What's your Israel. name, God? Right. Okay. What's your name? Right. What's your name? Oh, I'm King Knowledge Supreme Allah Supreme. Oh, <laughs> so you only got 5%? No, 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 God. No, God, that's what we do. God, what's the mathematics? What's the mathematics? You tell me, God. What's the mathematics? You tell me, God. That's from the old school. We can't put that on the What's the mathematics? Yo, God, let me help you, God. What's the mathematics? Stand in your square. Yo, God, let me help. Stand in your square. God, let me help. Stand in your square. help. What's the mathematics? Let me ask you a question. What's the mathematics? Can I help? Come on, man. You play, man. Playing, no, 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 no. For the record, I'm old school, man. Can I help? What's today's mathematics? Ask me the question. I said, what's today's mathematics? I said, can I help? What's today's mathematics? Can I help? See, you, play, you, know, you, you ain't no good. God, man. You ain't God, man. How you want to feel? I said, what's today's mathematics? How you want to feel? Romans 14. How you want to feel? Verse 14. Come on. It says, For we know that the law is spiritual. For what? The law is spiritual. Right, the laws of the most high are spiritual. Come on. But I am carnal. For what? But I am carnal. Come on. Sold under sin. Right. For that which I do, I allow not. Right. So the most I said that the law is spiritual, brother. I'm proud of you. Stand in your square. You didn't think I knew about that guy by himself, right? I'm huh? proud of you. Who says mathematics? I'm proud of you. Huh? You tell me. Who says mathematics? You tell me. Oh, brother, I'm old school, man. <laughs> not brother, 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 brother. Don't come with that, brother. A mother, brother, brother, brother. Stand on your you square. You feel what I'm saying, God? Stand on your square. Ready? Okay. Huh? The most I was coming at 12. Oh, you ready? Right? I'm ready. No, God. Are you ready? Here. I was born ready. Give me Isaiah. Yeah, God. Let me see how you look with your glasses. Um, Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Uh -huh. one and three. Let me see how you. Hold on. Jeremiah. One and three. Look to your left. Jeremiah. Look to your left. What you got? You got that one? My call? Yeah, God. Stephanie, two and one. Yeah, God. You got Jeremiah? He got the glasses on, God. Look to your left, God. Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 1. Gather yourselves together, O house of Jacob. Look to your left, God. Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 1. Gather yourselves together. Do what? Gather yourselves together. So the most I said, gather yourselves together. Not a Black Lives Matter march. Absolutely, absolutely not. But gather the twelve tribes of Israel. You are Hebrew Israelite. What's your nationality? You tell me. You are Hebrew Israelite. That's right. Okay, That's you're right. not a five percent of. Yo, 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 God. Okay, you're not God's body. Left, God. You're Hebrew Israelite of course. Look to your left, God. Okay, read. Look to your left. Now we we do everything on the right. That's right. right. That's right. Okay. We do everything on the right. Hold on. You see my man? Gather yourselves together. You what? Gather yourselves together. You what? Gather yourselves together. The Bible says, gather yourselves yeah. together. Come on. Yay. Gather together, O oh, nation that desires. So you can't even see. Look at you. Squinching. Okay. Yo, We're the nation that's not desired. So the Most High is calling us back in these last days. A okay? Because why? The saints you know of the Most High are going to do what? They're going to take the kingdom. You know and we're going to possess the kingdom for how long? You know Forever. That's right. How? Shot, shot. That's right. What you got? No, God. To the left, God. Jeremiah 1 and 3. It says, It came also in the days of Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah. You want to Isaiah 1 and 3? Okay. Uh, it says, um, Son of Josiah, king of Judah, unto the carrying away of Jerusalem, captive in the fifth month. Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I what? Before I formed thee in the belly. Before we were formed in the belly, come on. I knew thee. He what? He, I knew thee. So the most I knew before we was even born, come on. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, and before we came out of my mother's womb, come on. I sanctified what? I sanctified. I sanctified thee, come on. And I ordained thee a prophet. Did what? I ordained thee a prophet. Right, so we didn't go to any seminary school, any theologian school. The most I call is from the womb. He did what? I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. He did what? I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. He ordained us a prophet unto the nations. Uh -uh. Brother, repent. Me. Come back to the Lord's Set of Commandments. He ordained Take me. back your nationality. Yo, God. Okay. He Stop me. being ignorant of who no. you are. No, no. You, you are if the you one. If you don't know your past, you, how are you going to know your you future? You are the one that ignores. If you don't know where you came you from, are the you don't one know where you are, You are the one that ignores the act when you're on the ground. Come back to your nationality. You are the one that ignores. You are the one that ignored it oh, when you on the ground. No doubt. Come here, Shrella. Come here, Shrella. Let me hear you say. Come here, Shrella. Come here, Shrella. Let me hear you say. Write it down for me. I'll repeat it tonight as well. Come. Write it down for me. Here. Come here, Shrella. Who got paper? Who got paper? Who got paper? Yeah, we going on now. Who got paper? Who got next? We are next. We are next. Forever, never. Forever, never.
Tiny Kingdom. Kingdom. Tiny Kingdom. Kingdom. I love y'all. I love y'all. Like love. Like that down for me. You ain't ready for that, brother.